crazy! Stop it! Get your butt out of bed, Haruhiko! No way! new sketchbook again. Congratulations, you get nothing. <laughs> Why not? Did we do something wrong? Well, you severely damaged school property, and you only earned enough to pay for it. I don't believe it. How am I supposed to get by now? Just be patient. I'll find you some more work. All right, everyone, that's it for today. See you all back here tomorrow. My, nice work today. Better luck next time. Don't get down on yourself, Haruhiko. Like they always say, you win some, you lose some. Well, thanks for the advice, Shosuke. <sighs> Quit being such a sad sack. Sign what's out all of your happiness. Such a hypocrite. You did it too. <sighs> Hosea Academy Neural Error Corrections Room. It's like a club for phantom hunters. However, Team E, my and me, has the worst performance record. This is bad. Really bad. I was counting on today's reward. Are you that strapped for cash this month? This month, next month, and pretty much every month that comes after that. It's not exactly easy for a high school student to live on their own, you know? 
I think we might need a few more people on our team to get ahead. There's gotta be a way to recruit new members. Hosea! No! Hosea Academy is a prestigious private school. I, Haruhiko Ichijo, entered its high school division this April. My hobby is reading. I've read all the books in the school library. So I mainly go to the public one now. Hey, don't they have anything better to read here? Like something smutty? Or maybe smutty? I think you're in the wrong place for that. Hosea Academy covers grade school to high school, but some students enter high school from other middle schools. A few of them might have special abilities like ours, so we have to try and find them. I suppose there might be some hidden talent in some of the surrounding areas, like Zhuge Liang or Pang Tong from Records of the Three Kingdoms. I don't remember that at all. You must be making it up. Man, your stories always go off on stupid tangents. What the? Hey, has there always been a cemetery here? You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. No, this is the way I always go, so I couldn't have. There's a phenomenon called jamais vu, when something feels recognizable in some way, but is still unfamiliar. Maybe that's what we're experiencing right now. Haruhiko, look! Uh, phantoms! Uh, that girl, she needs my help! Please don't stare, it makes me very uncomfortable, okay? <sighs> She's a phantom eater! A special ability user! That was delicious! So cool! Hang on! Have you ever heard of Gaius Plinius Secundus? By what? He was an ancient Roman naturalist, aka Pliny the Elder. In his book, he wrote about an animal called a manticore. It was a scary, ferocious beast. It would eat anything and everything in its path. Not even an army could stop the carnage. Just now, that's exactly what you look like. Not much of a compliment. Even Aristotle wrote about this magical, demonic creature. Steve, you're on a tangent again! Oh, oh, wait a second. That looks like a Hosea Academy uniform. Please, tell me your name. Uh, it's Reina Izumi. It's nice to meet you. I'm Haruhiko Ichijo. So have you chosen your club yet? How would you feel about joining the Phantom Hunting Club? Sorry, Aya. I have to go. Bye now. <laughs> Look out! Oh, crap. This is turning into a totally cliché dating sim encounter fast. It would be such a shame to let it go to waste. Are you still mad about yesterday? If you want, you should just beat him up again! I'll happily allow it! And what gives you that authority? Oh, no. I know it was an accident. So forgive me. I apologize for throwing you. Uh, sure. But still, I'm sorry. I just don't think I can join your club. Oh, come on. Wait, one second. Have you... have you had lunch yet? School cafeteria, my treat. What do you say? Do you mean it? To. Let's begin with the phantoms and what they are. It's pretty common knowledge, but I'll explain it anyway since you asked. Phantom is a broad term that encompasses the pantheon of ghosts, yokai, monsters, and other supernatural beings. They used to be considered fictional, or only perceptible to animals and certain humans. A little over a decade ago, a facility owned by a company called Aleashki was hit by a terrorist bomb. A quarantine virus that infects the brain escaped the building. The massive biohazard affected the population, causing changes in brain function. As a result, everyone became able to perceive phantoms almost immediately. 
In a nutshell, phantoms are what emerged as the wall between reality and myth crumbled. Breastfeeding infants manifested superpowers. One by one, these children were born. Just like you and I, they were given special abilities genetically designed to fight these phantoms. Most phantoms are harmless, they just cause mischief. But some can lead people astray like the one you sealed before. Ability users like us began to establish club-like groups within our schools. This was the best way to seal or expunge such troublesome phantoms. We even get paid to do it. Although it's only in goods, not cash. So then, Rudu must be a phantom too, right? Yeah, I am! But I'm a good girl, so nobody would dare hunt me down! Good girls don't steal other people's food. Well, what do you say? Do you think you'd be interested in joining my team? You said you don't get an allowance, right? So this would be like a part-time job. You can ask Mai. She gets paid in rice and household staples. It helps her get by. We spend a fortune on a fancy lunch for you, and this is the thanks we get! I think you should at least come and check it out. Sure. Reina Izumi, right? Hi there. Second year, Mai Kawakami. Big sister. Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, the girls' school I went to before was very formal, and it was customary to call any upperclassmen big sister, so I... Wow, that definitely sounds like a rich girl's school. Anyway, we just got a new assignment from our supervisor, Miss Himeno. And now we're gonna get this one right, because my livelihood depends on it! What kind of phantom is it this time? They're utility poles. It's like a Kenji Miyazawa story come to life. That looks fun! It turns out that those poles were made with lumber harvested from this mountain. Now it looks like they're enjoying a second life as phantoms. Come on, Haruhiko. How can you be so out of shape? What do you want from me? Those phantoms don't seem to be causing any harm, though. Do we really need to chase them off? Apparently, these guys are causing radio disturbances around here. Our club's ultimate goal is peaceful coexistence with phantoms. But if they're being bothersome and they can't be reasoned with, we need them to get lost. Of the five elements, the furious power of metal cuts through wood. I now humbly summon the metal phase from my lungs to my fists. All right, you overgrow toothpicks. It's time to do battle for what is right. Okay, who's next? explain it better. These yokai were born from the anger of tools built and abandoned by humans. In the past, people used to dance in honor of trees they cut down on this mountain. I guess the poles are doing that dance for themselves now. But why are they doing a dance like the limbo then? In Christianity, limbo is the world between here and heaven where some poor souls get stuck. They fulfilled their roles, but they can't pass on. Maybe the phantoms are trying to express that grief by dancing the limbo. Christian limbo, interesting. Does that mean it's the origin of the dance's name, then? Nope, they're not related whatsoever. Are you kidding me? This makes my brain hurt. I didn't realize how knowledgeable you are, Haruhiko. I'm very impressed. Aw, uh, he's just a nerd. He does nothing but read all the time. And that only gives him trivial information that's totally useless in battle. That's not true at all. Now that we know what these phantoms are and why they're dancing, we can devise a viable plan. Come on, dance like you mean! Is this really going to help seal them? I feel silly. Well, I believe so. The Skumogami want to be honored by humans, so it's the least we can do, right? Careful not to touch him or you'll get fried! <laughs> Alright! Oh, nice. That should be enough to calm them down. Now we just have to... <gasps> oh, it sure seems like we're still holding onto that grudge. It's okay. I think I can make up for it right now. Stop! Honey, he's so epic I I'm not athletic enough for him. Oh, yeah! Good job. Way to go, Mai. What? Seriously? You just hang in there, big sister. But don't push yourself too hard. Everything is riding on this. You gotta do it. she has to do is clear the line. Look over there! Mai's massive rack! It's gonna hit it! We need Raina! She's flat as a pancake! She's so rude! She can't help it! What's that supposed to mean? 
doing? Oh, I get it. You're bouncing your breasts and waiting for when they're at their lowest. One, two, three! Yeah! yeah! That was awesome! Oh, that's all right! Uh, whatevs, it was no big deal. Hey, look at the phantoms! The Skomogami are appeased. They clearly want us to seal them. Where's your sketchbook, Harahiko? Oh, crap! I forgot to buy another one! Could you be more useless? Don't worry. Leave it to me. <gasps> oh my gosh, Rena! That was completely amazing! You seriously need to join our team already! All right. Since you asked me so nicely, big sister. Ah! <laughs> So I guess that resolves our personnel shortage. And our skills are perfectly distributed. I fight the phantoms. Raina makes sure that they all get sealed. Wait, do we even need you anymore? Huh? So mean! Look, you guys! The poles! Now that the Skumogami are gone, they've gone back to being utility poles. I can't help feeling a little sorry for them. I'm sure there was a time when they were useful to humans serving a very noble purpose. If they're lucky enough to be reborn as trees again someday... Would they still be willing to serve humans if they were given the chance? So, I understand that you're set on going it alone. Yes, that's how I've always done things. So be it then. But I do hope you'll come back and help us with our work. We could use you. If I get the chance. Excuse me. Maybe she didn't start going to school here until April, like Raina did. Phantoms. Real hallucinations created by the human brain. We live in a world where the line between reality and fantasy has become blurred. Again, I live here too! A phantom, by definition, is an illusion. However, what exactly separates illusion from reality? For example, according to Kant's critique of pure reason, humans perceive the world through a complicated framework of recognition called categories. Biologically speaking, humans create their own model of the world via the functions of the mind. Put bluntly, what we call reality is actually an elaborate illusion that our brains manufacture. Ever since a virus outbreak over 10 years ago, the human brain underwent a drastic change. Monsters, yokai, and other non-human beings that were once considered fictitious have now become visible to everyone. These are what we now know as phantoms. I'm a phantom too, but I'm cute! Phantoms that wreak havoc must be sealed to ensure the public's safety, but some only need to be driven off in order to do that. Also, merely sealing a phantom doesn't mean it's destroyed. Under certain circumstances, they have been known to reappear. Yeah, but what the heck is a phantom anyway? We're still trying to understand them. Have phantoms actually always existed independent of humankind? Or perhaps they're mere figments of human imagination or even the subconscious? That isn't clear either. So with all that crazy info, we're still pretty clueless. Yet, some phenomena in the past could be attributed to phantoms. Really? Which is the subject of today's episode. <laughs> it's a UFO! An unidentified flying object. Maybe what we called UFOs and aliens were really phantoms pretending to be something else because we weren't ready to recognize them yet. <laughs> this one looks a lot like you. You're so rude! After we sealed the utility pole, Phantoms, Raina decided she would officially join our team and make us a trio. Now that our team is bigger, I think things are really starting to look up for all of us. You better up your game, Haruhiko, or else Mai's going to fire you! Oh, shut up. I bought a new sketchbook, see? So I'm on top of it. I have a special ability for summoning certain Phantoms. By drawing them, I initiate the sealing process. But now that Reyna, whose ability is Phantom Eater, has joined our team, we're better off with her handling the ceiling. Which also means that from now on, I step down from that position. In order to make myself more valuable, I have to find a way to improve my summoning skills, and fast. Better hurry up and learn your new magic trick soon! It's a special ability, not a magic trick! Haruhiko! Ruru! Hey, Reyna! Good morning! Morning. So are you ready to get started? Yes! I very much look forward to it. 
I'm guessing that you and Ruru must be pretty close friends, huh? You're always together. By the way, let me tell you my full name. It's Ruru Rari. Ruru Rari Rara Ruru Riri Rari. Rira Rari Ruru Rara Ruru Rari Rari. Ruru Rari Rara Rara Rara. No, no, no. Ruru Rari. Don't bother taking her seriously. She always follows me around like an insect. I don't know why. Apparently, she's become rather fond of me. It's just because Haruhiko and Maya are so much fun to tease. Oh, good morning, Minasa. We met in the hallway yesterday. I'm Haruhiko Ichijo. I'm a first-year student here as well. I'm Reina Izumi. Koto Minase? Yes. She has a remarkably proficient power even among the most gifted of users, so she prefers to spend most of her time working alone. It's easier that way. She's so advanced the Phantom Control Agency is interested in her. Wow! Even I'm impressed! I tried inviting her to join our club, but she turned me down outright without a second thought. It seems she hasn't quite adjusted to the school yet. Believe me, I understand how she feels. Transfer into a new school makes everyone anxious in the beginning. Haruhiko, are you going to ask Koito to join our team? No, honestly, I hadn't even considered it. Ah! Wait a minute, don't tell me you have a crush on her! I knew it! That's why you're always thinking about her! I hate you! Stop! Now you're making things up. Why do you need her when you already have me? I guess your relationship is closer than I realized. No, it's not. One of Alyashiki's abandoned factories? Yes. An old security robot has recently become a phantom and has been causing a serious disturbance there. We have a request to take care of it since it could pose a threat. Isn't Alyashiki the same company held responsible for releasing the brain-altering virus? It is, but the factory I'm sending you to is different from the one considered Ground Zero. In fact, by agency request, Koito is already headed to the scene as we speak. But since she works alone, wouldn't we just get in her way? About that. I recently discovered that Koito has had this powerful ability since she was a young child. And because of that, people have always treated her like an outsider, and it's made her withdraw. But personally, I want her to feel like she can fit in here as soon as possible. I want her to start learning how to work in harmony with others. Hence the reason why I'm asking you all to go assist her. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Breaking, 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 breaking into the tune of creation. Tuning in, tuning in, tuning in, tuning in. I now control the key. Breaking, 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 breaking into the tune of creation. Tuning in, tuning in, tuning in, tuning in. Now I tunnel the flames. She wanted us to back you up. I don't need any backup. Right, you guys can deal with me now. Additional intruder has been detected. Beginning elimination. Beginning elimination. What? It's a lot of phantoms! The multipliers. Looks like we have to kill the main body or they'll keep propagating. Breaking, 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 breaking into the tune of creation! Tuning, 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 tuning! Now I tunnel the flames! Ah! Again? Where'd her voice go? Haruhiko! Try your useless trivia! Shut up! It isn't useless. That phantom must be using anti phase sound waves as a defense. Huh? What the heck is that? When you want to block a sound, you can emit an inverse phase signal to cancel it out. Noise-canceling headphones would be a familiar application of the same principle. That robot phantom is emitting an anti-phase sound against Minase's voice. That's how it's conjuring her parole. Parole? Clever had figured out what I was doing when I destroyed the smaller ones. All right, Mai. Locate the main unit and then destroy the speaker on it. I got it! Now's your chance, Koito! We don't get the orders around here. Breaking, 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 breaking into the tune of creation! Tuning in, tuning in, tuning in, tuning in, and I now control the key. Uh... She's fast. Okay, Raina, now do your thing. Right. I told you once. 
right, so not in charge. <gasps> its attribute is definitely metal. Of the five elements, the power of fire melts metal to liquid. I summon fire phase from heart to fists. And now, let us battle one against a thousand! I finished my drawing, now get back! Thrashing Phantom, reveal your secrets to the Book of Thought! Request denied. My sole directive is to keep Ariashki's information classified. Notice you used me as a shield just now. What do you mean? Don't play dumb. Haruhiko, do you happen to know what kind of phantoms those things were? Were they also Skumogami? Possibly, but they multiplied and evolved by themselves. I think they're different than the ones that possess the utility poles. There's still a lot about phantoms that we simply don't understand. Anything is possible at this point. Anything goes, huh? Phantoms, man. They're so weird. Hey, you know you are one, right? I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Mai Kawakami. It's really nice to meet you. You've got some impressive skills. Have to admit, you and that girl. <gasps> it's... it's Reina Yuzumi. We can split the rewards evenly. Just between us three girls. Nothing to say about what I did? She's really amazing, isn't she? She stopped all those fandoms at once just by singing that note for a few seconds. <sighs> I'm totally <laughs> filthy again. My laundry bills are piling up. What am I going to do if I go home looking like this? My parents will be furious. Come to my place. You can borrow some of my mom's clothes. <laughs> Thank you for that. I really needed a shower. So where are your parents? Are they still at work? Ah, uh, something like that. I've never seen a house with this many books before. Is this the source of all the useless trivia Rudu keeps talking about? I really wish you guys wouldn't call it that. But you have so much otaku stuff. <sighs> what are you doing, Rudu? <clears throat> What's that? A game console? I found it at the factory earlier. It looked kinda cool. You shouldn't just go stealing stuff like that. It could be important. Who cares? That factory was abandoned. No one'll miss it. Look, the power is on. I wonder if it still works. Maybe it's a PC device. I guess it's not a game console. Is that some kind of secret message? No, I think it might just be an error code. Now where's the reset button on this gadget? Nice going, you broke it! I'm sure it's not broken, all I did was touch it! But the light went off, did you see that? Oh crap, you're right. Maybe I just need to recharge it for a bit. More please! Why aren't you taking responsibility, you thief? <clears throat> Good night, we have to be going now. Thanks a lot. You're a lifesaver. Sure thing. You're welcome to drop by whenever you want. Night, night. I'll see you tomorrow. Did you ever get that little gizmo working again? Nope, but I have some ideas. I want to at least try to fix it before giving it back to Aleashki. Hey, what have you been drawing all this time? It's an ancient demon called Marcosius. I'm trying to improve my artistic skills. That looks kind of terrifying. I want to reach the point where I can summon more phantoms to help me. I have summoning abilities too, you know. You don't need them! You want me to help you out! We have different definitions of hell. <laughs> that might be a good idea. I mean, let's be honest. Your stealing ability is no match for Rina's. Well, I have a new parole in mind as well. Now all I have to do is finish up the drawing. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Both of you have been talking about this thing called a parole, but what is it? It's a kind of unique spell for when we use our special abilities. Remember how Mai and I sometimes chant? Like, reveal your secrets to the Book of Thoth, or of the five elements? Oh, Koito was using a chant like that. Something about the Tune of Creation. Paroles help to enhance our special abilities and thus make them much easier to use. Although I don't think many people can use their abilities without a parole the way that we've seen you do. Oh, I didn't know that. 
The concept of parole was originally introduced by a Swiss linguist named Ferdinand de Saussure. Simply put, it refers to chatter. According to him, humans catalog the world using words. These categories we can recognize are defined by linguistic framework. Ludwig Wittgenstein also applied linguistic concepts to philosophy, but okay, Saussure... Okay, uh, that's quite enough useless trivia. Oh my. Uh -huh. Are you the only ones in here? Uh, yes. All the other teams are out working. Do we have another job? Yes, one in a nearby girls' college dorm. Wait, college girls? Creeper. <laughs> it peeps? Yeah, it's this little UFO that stares at us through the window when we're getting changed. I hate it. Even worse than that, it takes pictures of us, too. <sighs> so you have a peeping phantom, then. We have to go now, but can you take care of it? Thanks. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> There's just so much pink. I don't care how pink it is, just so long as we get paid. <gasps> About the payments that we get, can we request things besides the usual goods or household items? Might depend on what you ask for. Why? What is it you want? I... Uh, huh? I want... to go to an... Uh, and all you can eat buffet! There I said it! <laughs> My parents are strict. They'll never let me go. They say it's disgraceful and that it's unseemly for a young lady to eat so much. It's disgraceful for you to enjoy food. <sighs> I'll never understand the way rich people look at life. Hey, how long till the phantom's here? <laughs> Maybe it... It won't appear unless we actually change out of our clothes. Yeah, you may have a point there. Hmm? Huh? What's that look? What? You know what it is! <coughs> Don't come in until the UFO gets here! Huh? <coughs> I have to relax. Might as well start preparing. Joaquin Boaz. It's here! Uh. Look at me, are you flying perverts? My Raina, are you guys all right? Get out of here! I didn't say come in yet. Go get your gun. Summonings require a sacrifice of human blood. Admonition then, now, and henceforth. The Lord shall admonish you. Open. Open. Gates of hell. Return to life, vile demon of the damned. Invoke! Marcosius! It worked! My phantom summon worked! Save it! It answered your summons, so just make it do something already! Okay, Marcosius, attack! What? No more pictures! <laughs> Marcosius, stop! Heal! Sit! Stay! Come back! Marcosius. Is your finger okay now? Yeah, it isn't bleeding anymore. It's no big deal. Let me try something. <gasps> what? What the? This sensation. <sighs> hey, Raina.
Serena, what are... I'm so sorry. I just thought... Huh? She healed it! Wow. Is this another one of your abilities, Reina? I... I can't be sure. I got caught up in the moment. Who is that? Koito? Minase, what are you doing here? I was a little impressed with you guys before, but maybe that was a mistake. <sighs> What's with her? Did she come all the way over here just to tell us how much we suck? All kinds of phantoms exist in our world. Oni, utility poles, robots, UFOs. It may be that this world we live in is constantly creating new phantoms. I too have come up with both a new parole and a special ability. This world, just like language, subtly changes by the day. Our first term at Hosea Academy has officially begun. What will happen to us in the days to come? Well... Doesn't it scare you when your computer does this? Well, it's important to keep backup copies of all your data just in case it crashes. He ought to know! Haruhiko gets weird viruses from these sketchy websites all the time! Quit making baseless accusations! What Ururu just said isn't true, she's lying. Huh? But the other day- <laughs> If human memory could be backed up like computer data, that would be extremely useful. Fortunately, there's actual research being done on that right now. <laughs> I'm not lying! If you don't believe me, copy my memories and see for yourself! <laughs> the bad news is that research is only done on humans for the moment. Phantom memories are beyond the scope of- Check it out! The site Haruhiko was browsing had lots of chicks with huge boobs who also- Sorry, so anyway, in this episode we'll be focusing... My name is Mai Kawakami, a second year at Hosea Academy. I'm a member of the Phantom Hunting Club. There's no school today, but Miss Himeno told us to head out as we have a new request. Hmm? Hey Mai, we're finally here! Sorry, we had to stop at the store. Together? When did you two get so close? <gasps> oh, it was a happy accident, we I just... really happened to bump into him at the convenience store! She didn't have to deny it so strongly. To be honest, our team, Team E, screws up a lot. The club thinks we're kind of a joke. Sometime soon, we'd like to redeem ourselves. That was so much fun! The giant isopods were really neat. Yeah, but they were also sort of scary. Uh, are you okay? It's nothing. I was just thinking about when I was a little girl, that's all. What were you like as a child? Were you as cool as you are now? Believe it or not, I was really shy and quiet. It only took the slightest thing to make me cry. She's such a liar. <laughs> okay, okay! I give, I give, I give! Don't worry, I believe you. I bet you were the sweetest, most adorable little girl in the whole wide world. I don't know about adorable, but I was shy. You could even say that I was a wallflower. I couldn't even make eye contact with people I just met. But there was this one time. It was so long ago, it almost feels like forever. I have this faint memory. It was almost magical. Hey, I think you can let him go now. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's go or we'll miss the train. Yes, right behind you. Albert, those are the same high schoolers from the other day. At least I think. So here's the 411 on this phantom. It blocks people's way while they're trying to cross the bridge to go home at night, telling them, You will not pass until you can defeat me! It's just like if Ben Key were a phantom. Yeah, it first showed up by the river, so I'm guessing it has a water attribute. Then the key to defeating it is Earth attacks. Right. Now let's go kick some phantom butt! We're here. It's already starting to get dark. They call sunset Omagatoki because monsters often tend to appear at that time. It'll probably show itself pretty soon. Hey Mai, is something wrong? Uh, not sure why, but this feels familiar. <gasps> Look up there! I'm guessing you must be the phantom that's been picking on innocent pedestrians! Now you're gonna tangle with me! Picking fights was not my objective. That was only a means toward an end that I have now achieved. What? You're one of those phantoms that can talk? I always believed that if I waited patiently and gave it enough time, my wish would be granted. And now it has. Your wish? An end? What the hell are you talking about? Give up the ruse, my Kawakami. Our ultimate goal was to summon you here and we've done it. You want me? Yes, do now! You take great pride in your strength. We suspected that if we made our presence known here, you would soon come find us. You are specifically seeking my? What do you want from her? It still makes no sense to me. But if it's a fight you want... 
It's a fight you'll get if you lose your shield. Let us okay. in. Wow, it's like the tail of Ushio Akimoto. I'm using red paint in place of blood. Admonition, then, now, and henceforth. Let the Lord admonish you. Open, open. Gates of hell. Return to life, vile demon of the damned. Invoke Marco Diaz! sending you today to the nature park past the mountain there's a nasty phantom terrifying tourists in the caves over there sounds dangerous you be safe yeah thanks you too everyone else seems busy with more jobs huh. i'm not gonna sit around here either that's for sure we have to come up with a plan and fast yeah but remember there are two of them how are we ever going to be able to beat him without another person well i guess that would mean we're going to have to find someone else who's at least as strong as my All right, we hereby begin martial arts training. Now bow to your sensei! This is getting complicated. My uniform matches big sisters. <laughs> I'm a little overjoyed. First up is core and leg strength. Follow me! chance using Reina since she knows self-defense. It would be my honor, I swear it! I'll do anything not to let you down! I'm loving the team's spirit, but I don't feel right about asking you to put yourself in danger. But I... Thank you so much for offering, though. Besides, this one's much easier to mess with, aren't ya? There's no way I can get that strong so quickly! Only because you think there isn't! The minute you say you're gonna lose, you do! Hold on! Five seconds ago you said I wasn't an option! I told you I can! By the way, this is the main reason no one ever wants to team up with my... Wait, then I only have to get as strong as you, right? <clears throat> Here's an idea. Let's copy your memories to mine. What we refer to as common knowledge, that which we acquire by studying, or knowing things like how to board a train, or wash your face, or take a bath, is called semantic memory. As for your name, family relationships, and experiences, these are all personal episodic memories. And riding a bike or doing a back hip circle? These things using bodily movement are procedural memories. And of course, that would also include martial arts skills. In other words, you want to make copies of all my memories of the skills I have and then transplant them into you? Is that even possible? There's still a lot we don't know about how memory works. According to one theory, human memories are stored not in the brain, but in a sort of collective human subconscious. In fact, it's not unlike cloud data storage. And when we recall something, it's basically the same as downloading the memory from an external server. If this hypothesis is true, and we can access memory data, it might be possible to acquire and replicate someone else's skills. That sounds so fake. You're just trying to weasel your way out of training, aren't you? No, I'm serious, I swear. During the New Age science boom in the 1980s, there were similar discussions about it. I mean, yeah, they agreed it was a sketchy proposition, but... Huh? I just overheard what you were discussing, and I'm very intrigued. I think it's worth a try. <laughs> Haruhiko has the unique skill of being able to summon phantoms. But more importantly, this is also an uncommon gift of communication with the metaphysical world. 
Wow, it's that rare? Haruhiko may actually be able to copy and use my skills. And the way he can do so is by accessing the metaphysical storage server of humanity's memories. Seriously? Oh, suddenly you're surprised by that now? I'm a longtime member of the Aleashiki research staff. I've been wanting to publish a paper on this very phenomenon. Well, if you say so, Miss Himeno, I guess we could try it. But what exactly do we do? Don't you worry. I have a few ideas in mind. Man, why do I have to do this with you? What choice do we have? Miss Himeno insisted on it. I understand that Mai spent many happy times here when she was only a small child. I thought that in order to access her memories, we should visit some of her favorite places. I still don't understand how it's possible to download someone's memories. By reliving some of her old experiences and physically sharing them, it just may be feasible to synchronize their memories as well. There's still so much to discover about special abilities. Yeah, it just looks like they're on a date to me. <laughs> this will be your grave. You will regret this in the afterlife. Apprentice, let's prepare for that move. Of course, Master. Heavens of fury, and the earth shall scream! Double dragons, unleash your roar! Storm attack, tornado, wheel of hell! When she was little, this movie inspired her. We're lucky they're showing a revival of it. <laughs> What's wrong, can't hang? Don't you want to share my awesome memories? It really sucks to be you. Humans can't fly. Is this place really that special to her? She told me she often used to come here with her father. Apparently, he was quite the elite athlete. Is that really going to help us sync up our memories? Uh, I remember. I have been here once before. A preschool field trip. I didn't realize it at first because there were hardly any buildings back then. Because I was super shy. I wandered away from the other kids to go play alone. And then two kids I never met before started talking to me. Even though I was always nervous around strangers, for some reason, we made friends immediately. I never even asked them their names. Now I wonder who they were. You have returned, my Kawakami. There you are. No, wait, we haven't copied any of your memories yet. Who cares? I never thought that stupid idea was going to work anyway. and accessing your memories. Wait, it actually worked? Now concentrate on your martial arts training. And really visualize it. Uh, got it. Let's see. that the memory transfer was successful then? Yes. You met them when you came here on your preschool field trip. Uh? Mai! This is an outrage! Do you maintain you don't remember us? This is the place we first met. I can't! Please stop it! I can't! <laughs> Where are you going? Let's play more! Please stop! Leave me alone! I think this must be one of your memories from back when you were in preschool. No way! Your friendship. 
And you treated us with such senseless violence. So after that, we trained for years because we swore we'd get our revenge on you. What the heck is happening? I believe you altered this memory. Altered? People often revise unpleasant memories to suit the personal narratives they prefer. To put it in simpler terms, you weren't as quiet or introverted as you thought you were. In fact, you were the exact opposite. <laughs> I knew something was off. I've never been an introvert. You were still cute, even when you were really obnoxious. My Kawakami, we have not yet finished our duel. Behold, our ten years of training are now about to bear fruit, guys! Stay back! Oh no, she's trapped! Haruhiko, you've gotta help! But I, I'm not strong enough yet, though. She's right, you know. You're essentially Maya's backup copy now. If she's ever in trouble, then you get to step in and shine, you get it? See? I told you! Get in there! <laughs> You were great. Honestly, it was a pretty close win. We shall soon return to challenge you again. Until that time comes, be well, old friend. Yeah, I'll see you then. Pig sister! You won! Good work. You did well. I'm very proud of you. Thanks. I gotta admit, you weren't bad either. <gasps> Amazing. They're awesome. <sighs> Memories are so weird. I can't believe that's who I was. I'm so glad I'm not like that anymore. Yes, they're often vague and ephemeral, and you can begin to doubt what's real, which would make human memories very similar to phantoms. It's easy to forget memories, but the good news is you can always make more new ones. Maybe this time around, you can become real friends with those phantoms. <laughs> You're such a smartass! <sighs> then, what happened to all of Mai's memories? Nothing, she didn't lose any of them. But I'm worried that after this, some of hers might get mixed up with mine. Are you serious? Ew! No need for either of you to panic. I suspect they'll vanish a few days from now. Much the same way you forget things you've crammed for immediately after an exam. Hey, wait! When was the first time Mai had to wear a bra? <sighs> Uh, it was early fifth grade. Ah! Stop talking right now! Just forget you ever knew that! It's ancient history, Creeper! But I can't, it's true! What are my measurements? Um, I need to Why won't you stop? My, Haruhiko, and Ruru are so close. They're practically a family. I never really had anything like that. I wonder. I wonder if maybe someday I can be closer to them, too. But it's just a thought. So maybe I should. Ahem. <clears throat> 
Human culture varies from time to time and place to place, but whenever and wherever you are, you'll always find two things as common threads between all possible scenarios. And what do you think those things are? I know! Eating and having fun! Close. The right answer would be language and family systems. Oh yeah! Chatting and trolling too! Basically, a family means parents and children. However, that equation can also include factors like time and place. For example, you have polyandry, and you also have polygamy. As for the types of relationships between parents and children, some societies choose to separate birth and parenting. As the basic unit of a society, a family can have many different rules. Oh, stop it! Why do you always have to be so confusing? Hi, my name is Rana Izumi. As payment for dealing with a phantom, we got coupons for an all-you-can-eat restaurant, so I'm here with my clubmates for dinner. <sighs> I'm in heaven! Uh, really? I've never seen anybody eat as much as you do. Where do you put all of it? Uh, well... I don't know, I've always been able to eat that way. Uh, excuse me, sir? Yes. <laughs> I'd like two servings of the extra thick short ribs and some haruman meat with sauce. Uh, sorry, I get kind of carried away when I order for myself. What are you sorry for? You earned those tickets, you deserve a nice big meal. What he said, enjoy it, shout out! Next time I'll do my best to keep up with you. <sighs> You mean, you would come back here with me again? Of course, why wouldn't I? Sure, yeah, let's do it. <sighs> Thanks a lot, both of you. I'm glad to say, these days I'm a lot happier than I used to be. But, now that I'm having more fun at school, it makes it that much harder to go home afterwards. <gasps> <sighs> Haruhiko is really smart. He recently told me, Sunset is called Omagatoki, the time of day when phantoms are more likely to appear. I have a rare special ability for which I am called a phantom eater. Every now and then, I've been dealing phantoms when they're causing trouble for people, but my parents don't take very kindly to it. I've never seen a bus like this one before. I don't even remember getting here. Wait, I feel weird. Hello, Father. Hello, Mother. I'm finally home. Reyna, why are you late again? Don't tell me you've been messing about with those confounded phantoms. Maybe you were bewitched by a phantom and didn't realize it. I was bewitched? Uh-huh. For example, maybe you talked to some random person outside. <laughs> Oh, my hemorrhoids, they're killing me! You there, young traveler, please help me take my aching butt home and I will reward you handsomely for your time and trouble! Just so you know, that's how some of them spirit you away to other worlds when you're off your guard. You mean something like either a Tengu or Kamikakshi would do? Also, once I realized that I had made a home, my heart was suddenly all warm and fluttery. I felt real happiness, the same way I always felt when my big sister was with me. So you're talking about uh, my, right? <laughs> What, me? No, I didn't mean that. Well, yes, that too, actually, but I really mean... Oh, no. That bus you rode? It was a phantom. Mina say. The thing is, you're possessed now. You guys, you really don't have to do this with me. Come on, Reyna! You know we would never ditch you! She's right, you know. We're a team, so we help each other out. A team is basically like a family. We have to be there for one another. <laughs> It was right around this same time yesterday, too. I knew it as soon as I saw it. It was definitely a phantom. You just stood there and watched and did nothing? Doesn't she have special abilities, too? I didn't think it was in my place to meddle. That is so not the point! Uh, Reyna! <laughs> Wait! No, Reyna! Reyna, stop! Where did he go? I shouldn't worry about them. I'm pretty sure they'll be back before too long. However, if this keeps up, she may be in danger. Uh, what kind of danger? The kind from which she might never be able to return. Talk to me. What's up with this bus? There's not even a driver. Father, mother! Hi, I'm home! Oh, Reyna, welcome back. Dinner's ready. It's yummy. Yay! 
So, dear, are you getting used to school? Oh, yeah. And it's super fun. It's your first time being in a club, right? They're not mean, are they? No. Mm -hmm. Just the opposite. Everyone's been so nice to me, and they're all really funny, too. We even did some cool martial arts training together the other day. You don't say. That sounds like a real hoot. Yeah. We did this. Also this. Now, now, Reyna. You mustn't do that at the table. <laughs> Sorry, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Wake up and get a grip, Reyna. These rabbits are phantoms, okay? Hi, Big Brother. How did he go? <laughs> We're late. We were so worried. Bitch, where have you been all this time? <laughs> now come sit and have dinner with us. <laughs> oh, also, you should see all the stuff on the menu at school. Mm, I wish I could sample some of those treats. What the? Maybe Why I should am I playing along with, with this charade? With you. What do you Haruhiko, mean? Uh, that's some rice for you. Uh, such a thank you. All the girls. <laughs> hey, Mom, how about some sauce? <sighs> Okay. Hey, uh... Huh? It's been a long time. Do you want to sleep together? God! Are you crazy? That's a little inappropriate, don't you think? <laughs> Relax, I'm just kidding. You're blushing, by the way. <sighs> Jeez. Bye, Bye we're, we're off. off! Have a nice day, kids! You two come straight home after school today. No dawdling, you understand? Okay! What's going on here? So weird. Hey, wake up. Come on, Reyna, wake up! Where are we? Take a look at this. Almost no time has passed since we got on the bus. Reyna, if that's you, come inside right now! Oh, sorry, Father! Who's that strange boy with you? Uh, uh, my name's... He's a kid I know from school. It was getting dark, so he offered to walk me home. Forgive me, but I'm afraid that I have to ask you to leave now. Sure, but no, wait a sec. Please, just go! Don't be mad. I'll explain it all tomorrow, okay? Raina! <gasps> what are you waiting for? Uh, right! Bye. Gotta go. Uh, uh, <gasps> but Raina... <laughs> Yes, I recognize it. It's one of those phantoms that hypnotizes humans while they're distracted, and then quickly sweeps them into its own world. Then Haruhiko tried to help her out, and he was hypnotized too. You should have avoided the food they offered. That's how they take over your consciousness. Reina, do you have any idea why those phantoms would specifically want to possess you? I don't know, but I still haven't told my parents that I joined this club. Maybe that's got something to do with it. <gasps> you're keeping it a secret from them? Hold on, what's the issue? Don't your parents already know that you're a phantom eater? They do, but they despise phantoms. They consider them to be obscene and shameful to associate with. They warned me I'm never to get involved with them or I'll be in big trouble. So if I admit to my parents that I'm in this club, they'll be very upset and they'll definitely force me to quit. They might even make me transfer schools. Seriously? That's awful. They're really strict, and, um, that's why she, my sister, had to leave home. Wait, so you have a sister? Yes. Her favorite thing was biking. She used to let me ride on the back of her bike sometimes. In fact, Mai reminds me of her a little bit. <laughs> oh, so that's why you took such a shine to Mai as soon as you met her. I'm sorry. I should have told you all the truth sooner, but I guess I was afraid to. Hey, you don't need to apologize for that. This secret has been weighing so heavily on my mind that it's getting more and more difficult to go home to my parents every day. I'm guessing that the phantoms are trying to take advantage of those feelings. Work call. I have to take this. If you'll excuse me. Wait, don't wait! You're leaving? This is just a simple phantom. I'm sure you can deal with it by yourselves. Bye. What's with that attitude? Oh, she gets on my nerves. Again, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Now stop apologizing already. Right. How did he go? Don't worry, I got this! What the? I feel it! 
It looks like you're both still affected from yesterday. Arihiko! Reina, wait! What is this place? Father, mother! I'm home! I'm home too! Oh, lovely! Did you come together? Yeah, we ran into each other at the bus stop. Really? It must be a uh, connection. They're totally bewitched by those phantoms. But we're not gonna fall for it like they did! Yeah! Phantom police! You will hand them over to us right now! Big sister! Why? I can't believe you're here! I finally came back! Father, come quickly! It's our my Big sister, my is finally off to stay! What did you say? Mine! <laughs> It's you! It really is you! Please get off me! What is going on here? We were all so worried about you. Seriously, where have you been? What were you doing? Are you kidding me? What? Stuff, I guess. But no big deal, I muddled through it. It must have been so hard, honey! I promise that we won't try to prevent you from biking anymore! Just don't leave home again! Sure. This must be a manifestation of Raina's feelings, too, huh? Yep, you better not fall for it, Ma! I take it the food doesn't affect you the same way since you're a phantom? Ah, you gotta try it! See ya! Oh. oh, that is so good! I know! What does it do to me?! <laughs> <laughs> this family's the best thing ever! From now on, we're one big happy family, right, Raina? My whole family's together now. This is great. Wait, why am I glad again? What are you talking about, silly? You're having good times with your family. Uh, hey, your bunny ears are gone. How did he go? It's a good thing, too. I mean, they made you look completely ridiculous. You should probably never cosplay. No, it isn't good! Look at this one. She has ice cream on her head. Adorable. Raina, I come with me. Me. I'm super cute. What? What's the matter? Why are we in the... Bathroom? I'll tell you why. Because in folklore, bathrooms have long been considered to be portals to other worlds, so this means... In here, you can snap out of it more easily. Uh, snap out of what? Reyna, listen to me! I'm not your brother, I never was! You're being bewitched by those phantoms! I don't understand. You are my brother, I know you are! <sighs> Sorry about this! <gasps> sister would come back home, maybe she would finally be able to patch everything up with my parents. I mean, this is something I've been hoping to see for a long time, even if it is just a phantom playing tricks with my mind. Yeah, I get it. This place seems more like home than my real one does, if that makes sense. My parents are kind, and my sister's here. And I feel as if I belong, you know? So are you saying that you don't want to leave? Reina. <laughs> My! My dear, now that you've awoken and can see this was only an illusion, I'm afraid it's time for us to say goodbye. After all, this world was nothing but an alternate version of what you dream. Although, you may join us too. Just think, you could be our real daughter, and we could live happily together forever. You will never know sadness again. But, the choice is yours. If you truly want to leave, we won't stand in your way. Father. Mother. No, Raina, don't go! Wonderful. Would you like to be our daughter permanently? No! Don't do it! You won't be able to come back! Please, wait! Damn it all! I can't seem to keep up with her! <sighs> my mom left home, too. She couldn't get along with my dad anymore, just like your sister! Ever since then, things haven't been good with him, either. But if I moved out, then it would make everything worse. I would be breaking up my whole family! I believe my mom wants to come back home, so that's why I'm still waiting for her! I mean, what if your sister finally does return and sees you're gone? Don't you think she'd be devastated if you weren't there for her? So I'm saying, until then, you belong with us because we're your family! Everybody's waiting for you.
It's all right. If that's what you wish, we accept it. Even though it was very short-lived, we want you to know that we loved being your parents. <laughs> if it ever occurs to you, remember us once in a while and think of us fondly. Be strong, I promise. I want to apologize for all the trouble I put you guys through. Especially you, Haruhiko. It must have been terrible. No, I... Ah, that's okay. Because we did it all for you, Reina. Wait a second. What did you do? Huh? I worked just as hard as you did. But you didn't do anything. Did too? Totally did. You're a liar. <laughs> ow, ow, let go, let go, let go, let go. Stop it. Let go. <laughs> Anyway, I think the most important thing of all is that your parents let you stay in the club. I realized everything that happened was because I was keeping it a secret from them, and it needed to come out so badly that I hallucinated a whole new family. So I knew I had to confront my fear and be honest with them, or nothing would ever change. So you finally decided to come clean, huh? I did! I'm glad I chose to come back to this world. And I mean that. It's where I belong. But sometimes, I look somewhere right beyond that sunset and think my other home might still exist there. When I close my eyes, I can still see it so clearly. And when I do, it makes me want to see my phantom parents. I miss them so much. Until we meet again. The massive viral outbreak of over a decade ago has drastically altered the function of the human brain. People could suddenly see phantoms, and kids were born with special abilities. There are many different kinds of special abilities. Meet Koito Minase, this episode's protagonist. She commands her extraordinary gift using the power of song. Sure, but is singing really all that special? Of course it is. Singing your favorite songs arouses the auditory cortex in the brain, thus triggering the secretion of pleasure hormones. It's effective in rehabilitation, and it helps in memorizing large amounts of text. Singing in groups makes doing arduous tasks more bearable and efficient. So basically singing is like a friend to mankind? Oh yeah! One of my good friends is an anime director, and I've heard him talk about this same thing. He says singing karaoke helps him with his rhythm, which in turn improves his storyboarding. I didn't even know you knew any other people. Of course he can totally be messing with me too! Tuning in, tuning in, tuning in. I shine the light of fortune. An excellent job. Thank you, Miss Minase. That phantom's been terrorizing both sides of this highway for so long. Nobody could drive it or even wanted to try. Thanks to your Fine, help. Then you can take over from here. Goodbye. Oh, all right. Listen, what should we do for lunch? I always make it a point to keep my distance from people. And I've lived my life that way ever since my ability surfaced four years ago. I never joined a school club. I spend most of my time dealing with phantoms, because I recognize that I'm different from everyone else. You're so lucky, Haruhiko. Uh. Every single one of your teammates also happens to be a cute girl. I'm cute too, aren't I? Sure you are, even cuter than a bunny rabbit. Right! Hey, Ruru, why don't you come join us? I'll share my dessert with you. Yay! 
You only say that because you don't know how it really is. Guy's got a terrible temper and she's prone to violence. So? She's one of the prettiest girls in school. And, of course, that Koito chick is super hot, too. But I'm not so sure about her. About Koito? What do you mean by that? I heard she used to be really popular a while back. But now that she's so standoffish and never wants to hang out with anyone, nobody talks to her anymore. She's pretty on the outside, but with a personality <laughs> like that? Maybe she's stuck up because she's got elite special abilities. Hey! So when did you get here, Koito? <laughs> hey, Koito, what's up? Didn't see you there for a second. Ah, this here is Josuke Morohashi. He's in the club with us because he's got special abilities, too. Oh, hi! Nice going. That was scary. You said chicken poops? Correct, but that's not all. A phantom is stalking school after school, not only attacking the chicken coops, but going after their rabbit hunches as well. There's a good chance we could be next. This probably won't pose much of a challenge for you, but I'm offering it to you first since I thought you might be interested. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> You're so pathetic. How do you even function? Huh? Wait, that's Goito, isn't it? I wonder where she's going. Sorry, you guys. Gotta go. Hmm. What's the plan? To apologize. I think Shosuke really hurt her feelings earlier. Yummy, yummy. Eat up, bunnies. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah? Who's in charge of these hutches? Just you? Mm -hmm. Oh. Looks like I got here just in time. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. <coughs> so if your ability is on the fritz, then I guess you can't fight phantoms. But look on the bright side. You weren't seriously hurt. We really appreciate your assistance earlier. Clearly you've got a special ability too. Yes. What's your name, teddy bear girl? Oh, yeah, I'm Kumamakura. But you can call me Kudami. And this here is my good friend Albrecht. Albrecht, <gasps> of course. The Margrave of Brandenburg in the 12th century, correct? Nicknamed the bear. Oh, oh, coolness. You're the first person I've ever met who actually knows that. <laughs> don't get in my way. Huh? That phantom is mine to seal and mine alone. And I don't need any help from you. That's great, but in case you forgot, your ability isn't even working right now. Relax, we can take it from here. You need to rest until your voice comes back. It'll return soon enough. Just back off, Blondie. <laughs> uh, first of all, you need to have a little more respect for your upperclassmen. I'm taking the phantom down, so deal with it! It's not your decision. I was the one assigned this job. Uh, maybe you can both find a way to compromise. Pardon, but I couldn't help overhearing. Miss Himeno, let's have a race to see which one of you can defeat the phantom first. The winner will be rewarded handsomely for her valiant efforts. Yeah, that's more like it! I promise, your team's recent improvements haven't gone unnoticed. I have confidence in you both. However, Minasei, you must allow your throat to heal. Your health always comes first. Understood? Wait, Minase! Hold it right there! Where are you going? I'm sorry, but I just... I'm going to help her out. Uh, I cannot believe this. I think I get it. Koito hurt her throat and lost her ability. And Haruhiko feels like it's his fault, so now he's trying to make up for it. I believe this will make a good tactical balance. Once Minase heals up, they might even have the advantage. 
Hey! Who, me? You said your name is Kudumi, right? Yeah, it is. How would you like to help us out? We could use a reserve member. And lucky for you, a spot on the team just opened up! Are you kidding? You can stop following me. I'm afraid I can't do that. I feel responsible for you losing your ability. It won't be gone for long. Uh, uh, <coughs> Seems like you start coughing every time you try to use it. He's right. Maybe you should get some rest. I have to deal with that phantom myself, no matter what. But why are you so fixated on this phantom? Minase, wait! Don't you think you'll have a better chance of catching that phantom if you wait for it at school? I doubt it'll go back to the same place after we got in its way. But we have no idea where it'll show up next. Doesn't matter. I can sense a phantom's presence. Awesome! It's like you have radar! But you still have no way to fight it. I can summon Marcosius, and I can seal phantoms. I'll help if you let me. I can't believe we've been walking for three hours. Haruhiko, why are you always such a cream puff? All right, you've had your fun. Go home now. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't do that. Where are you headed after this? My day is done. Uh, this is my apartment right here. So get lost already. Are you gonna try again tomorrow? normal yet. Uh, hey, good morning. How's your throat feeling? Have you been out here all night? Of course not. I went home. I just made it back. Mm, so this is Koito's place. Hey, stop it. You weren't invited in. Do you live here by yourself? Sorry for the early start, Kurumi, but our chances are better at this hour. It's okay. I don't mind. And besides, I'm worried about the bunnies too. And to tell you the truth, I've always thought you were really cool, so I'm just happy you guys asked me to hang out with you. Wait a minute, you mean you knew who we were? Yeah, totally. Well, anyway, if it gets too dangerous, promise me that you'll run away. Oh, right! Now I'm nervous again. Oh. Hey! Everybody's here! Are you guys patrolling the Zoover Phantoms, too? <sighs> Apparently, we both had the same idea. We brought an inexperienced outsider with you? Not too impressive. Mind your own business. She chose to come with us on her own. I know, maybe we should all try to cooperate with each other? Say that you traitor, you're dead to me. Oh, come on! Nudu, ditch those losers and be on our team. <laughs> that said seems a lot more fun, so nope. Wait a second. Uh, bye. See ya. You guys have fun. Um, the next time, be nice. I know, you're right, but I couldn't help it. I'm still mad at him. Doesn't it get on your nerves? Look, he's chasing her like a puppy! No, it actually doesn't. But clearly it gets on yours. Mm -hmm. Albrecht, what do you think of all this? Pretty weird, isn't it? Are you sure you want to come with me? You'll lose all your friends. I'll apologize later. They'll forgive me. Besides, you're a friend too, Koito. <sighs> What'd you say? Well, I mean, uh, if we're going to work together, we might as well try to be friendly. Sorry, are you mad? Uh, shh. What's wrong? It's in here. I'm sure of it. But the Lord admonish you. Open, open, gates of hell. Invoke Marcosius. Go on, get him, boy. Hey, Koito. Will you please stop calling me that? Where are you going? Where do you think? I'm going to find that phantom. Really? Shouldn't you relax and take it easy for a while? Your friends will beat me to the punch if I waste any more time standing around here. She's so incredibly stubborn. Come on, aren't you gonna go after her? Uh, Koito! Minase, wait! 
man, she's gone. Who? Quite Mina say. I don't remember seeing her here today. She does seem deeply obsessed with this phantom, doesn't she? I did mention before that she's had a powerful ability since childhood, right? Even more powerful than most? Yes. Well, there's more. It was directly triggered by a phantom that was attacking and killing all the school animals. You see, at the time, she was attending a normal school, where there was no phantom hunting club. One fateful day, a phantom viciously attacked one of the rabbit hutches there, killing every last one of them. Sadly, the person who happened to be in charge of that hutch was Minase. This awakened her special ability, and she sealed the phantom right then and there. But her gift was so frighteningly strange and powerful, her teachers and classmates began to fear her. Even her parents were terrified. Ultimately, she couldn't remain at home, and she was taken by the Phantom Control Agency. Ever since then, she's completely shut herself off emotionally. About the phantom that first triggered her ability, do you think maybe... Yes, it could very possibly be the same one you're all currently hunting. Sometimes, a phantom that's been sealed once before can escape its virtual prison and become active again. I'm sure Minase blames phantoms for tearing her away from friends and family, and forcing her to isolate herself. To her, they're eternal enemies. <sighs> there she is! Anyway, I'm hoping things will change for the better for her. And by continuing to spend more time with all of you, that might actually happen. Uh, Nudu, did you find her? Uh-huh. She's heading over to the zoo. Got it. I'm on my way there now. Miss Himeno? Go help her. She needs you. Right. with me because I keep depriving you of such easy meals. I'm sure you also want to get revenge on me for stealing you four years ago. Have it your way. Let's settle this. Breaking, 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 breaking. Now into the tune of creation. Tuning, 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 tuning. I shine the light of fortune. My ability's coming back. I got this. For myself, and they confirmed that my initial assessment was incorrect. Although there's a definite similarity. It's the same kind of phantom, but I'm afraid it's not actually the same one. I'm embarrassed to admit that I mistakenly got you both involved in a wild goose chase for nothing. Sorry. Man, she's a piece of work. Ah, uh, let her go. You did so well today, Kudumi. We couldn't have done it without your help. Oh, yeah, I mean, thanks a lot. If 
if we're ever in a bind again, we're gonna call on you for sure. <sighs> okay. She gave me directions. I need to talk to you about something. Uh, about what? Don't tell me that you're still angry. No, I just wanted to say thank you and to apologize for everything. <gasps> See ya. Uh, wait, Koito! I told you, don't call me that. If you want, you can call me Haruhiko. Absolutely not. <sighs> I might have to help them out again. The problem is, I don't know if I'll be able to. It's a well-known fact that little children like to keep their favorite dolls and blankets as close to them as possible. Do they even know why? All they understand is it makes them feel safer. <sighs> ah, she's eating the blanket! A more common name for these things is security blankets. Take one away from a child and she will almost certainly panic. <sighs> Bursting with emotional energy due to being robbed of something precious. I might have to help those guys out again. But I'm scared. I don't know if I can do it. I don't feel like going to school today. I mean, I like art class a lot, and I promised my friends we'd bring all our cute stickers and see which ones to trade. That part makes me want to go, but it's not enough. I still feel like staying away. I don't really know why, though. You did so well today, Kurumi. If we're ever in a bind again, we're gonna call on you for sure. <sighs> Albrecht, what should I do? I don't know if I can help those amazing people again. Maybe I just got lucky before. I can keep my feet inside all the white lines when I cross the street. That means if I have to help them again, then I won't mess it up. Okay, Albrecht, wish me luck! <laughs> Look at you, you're such a grandpa! This is why Koito always leaves you in the dust! <laughs> hey, look, it's Kurumi! Hi, Kurumi! <laughs> Hi, good morning! What is 
this? What's happening? Kurumi, are you okay? Answer me! Princess Kurumi, Kuma McLaren, clan survivor. <gasps> Prince Salmon, Gigaman heir, eagerly awaits your arrival. Now then, come peacefully if you please. <laughs> Move it. <laughs> A talking bear? You have to do something, Haruhiko. I've got this. I just have to summon Marcosius. <gasps> oh, I left my stupid sketchbook behind. Kurumi! <laughs> oh, Brent, I need you! Now, go! Captain, no! Are you all right, Captain? Princess. I have arrived. Whoa, what a smooth voice! You, stay back! What is your name, Pink One? Uh, Albrecht, it's you! Didn't you say Albrecht? Uh, you are Albrecht, the mightiest knight of the Kuma McLaren family? Hear me, O oh lowly Higemon henchman. I, Albrecht, shall guard and protect the princess. If you want her, you'll have to kill me first. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Right. Princess Kurumi, next time you won't be so lucky. I'm so glad you're here. <gasps> Please, forgive me. It is my deepest failure to have left your side, and it won't happen again. Henceforth, I serve only you and the Kuma McLaren family. I can't believe you're talking to me. It's a dream come true. Uh, princess. <clears throat> this is just uh, too strange. Are you sure we didn't die? <clears throat> I'll explain later, but first let us head to my lair. Delicious. I'm glad you like it. Please, drink to your heart's content, oh, princess. Wow, that is good. It contains the Kuma McLaren clan's secret honey. Yeah, and speaking of that, let's start. Who is the Kuma McLaren family? This eminent and noble dynasty has ruled the forest for generations. They are a most kind and just clan. Earlier, I overheard those soldiers call Kurumi a survivor. What does that mean? Many moons ago, a tribe of rogues known as the Higuman set forth a surprise attack on this forest from the north. Those weird dudes from before? Yes. Unable to thwart their sudden invasion, the king and queen met a brutal, tragic demise. Despite our grief, we lieges gathered our might to save the princess. Her plan was to go into temporary height and one day restore the Kuma McLaren family to its former glory. Alas, our arch-nemesis Prince Salmon of the Higuman began to speak of marrying Princess Kurumi. Somewhere in the midst of our hasty escape from Prince Salmon's men, sadly, we lost track of the princess. Dear travelers, I have no words to thank for keeping our princess safe. He said travelers. I guess that's how the storyline goes. Are you keeping up with this, Kurumi? And so you've been by her side this entire time, Albrecht? Indeed, from the very first moment she was born. Who goes there? Oh, you lot. Oh, oh princess. Oh, princess, at long last you're safe. Princess. Welcome back. Your highness, we shall remain forever loyal to you. Princess! <laughs> the princess is quite tired. She needs to rest for a while. Very well. Good night, princess. We're honored and thrilled you have returned. What do I do, Albrecht? I can't be a princess. I don't know how. <laughs> you are a princess, princess. I'm not. I don't want to be. I can't do it. Now, princess. Take this. During our escape, you dropped it. The Kuma McLaren family heirloom known as the Golden Rake will protect you evermore. Now then, it's time I patrolled the grounds for a spell. Albrecht, oh, don't go. It looks like you have a lot more on your tiny little shoulders than you ever realized, Princess Kurumi. Okay, all done. 
It's so cute! Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> I understand now. This place must be the world that Kurumi has created inside her mind. I created it? But how? In the real world, I believe you're going through some kind of stress or anxiety that's difficult for you to deal with. So you've escaped into this fantasy world in your imagination. It's your coping mechanism. Remember, you have special abilities, so this phenomenon is natural. Yeah, but still, why did the world she created in her mind end up being a crazy place like this? That's the key. I want to ask you some personal questions, and maybe your answers will shed some light on that. Okay. Here we go. What's your favorite animal? Bears. Where were you born? Kumamoto Prefecture. A place you'd like to visit? Kumanokoto. Anyone you admire? <laughs> Minakata Kumakusu. What's your favorite thing to eat? Bear claws. Do you eat those? What's your full given name? My name is Kurumi Kumamakara. When you take all that into consideration, I guess it makes sense that your mind would be completely riddled with bears. Whatever, I bet your mind's filled with chicks with huge boobs! Oh, and right now I'm reading a story about a heroic bear prince who rules a forest kingdom. It's perfect. This place has fairy tale written all over it. So you mean... this is the inside of my mind? My guess is that you're using this place to escape from reality. I've heard of people projecting their worries into fantasy worlds. No one can just run away from their problems, though. They always find a way to pop back up. If we're ever in a bind again, we're gonna call on you for sure. Is there something bothering you? Actually... <gasps> we're under attack by Hikaman soldiers! <laughs> Prince Salmon currently stands in the vanguard. Taking the day off for what? I wanted her to help us with the phantom hunting job we got today, but she never showed up. That's strange. Do you think it's possible that she's actually afraid of fighting phantoms? I can't blame her. She's only in the fourth grade. Don't worry, she'll be fine. She hasn't gotten used to fighting yet, but she's got a lot of heart. Right. And what exactly is it you're doing here again? <sighs> Miss Himeno gave me a call. Anyhow, that Kurumi girl can fight. She just needs to get over her mental hang-ups. Mm. <laughs> Is the guy chasing us Prince Salmon, the one who's trying to force Kurumi to marry him? Yes, Salmon to Higamon the Third. Princess Kurumi, stop right where you are. You will accept my Salmon Road Red Heart and be my bride. You cannot escape your destiny, and you know it. Yes, yes. Salmon Rose Gross. Dear travelers. Yes. I shall stay behind to buy some time. Please, take the princess somewhere safe. No, Wilbridge! Come with us! You have to! I won't leave you here! It's too dangerous! Princess, remain calm. We've set a trap for them in the forest. We can hold them off for a little while. Oh, no. Princess! Good! Let's go! It's an ambush! Let's run while we still can. Oh, bye bye, creepy bears! You'll pay for this, I swear it! I think we're okay. Does it hurt? Princess, I'm sorry to have failed you. Oh, Albrecht. I've never seen a stronger friendship than the one between Albrecht and Kurumi. It's really amazing! Well, we've been together ever since I was just a baby. I don't know life without him. Everywhere I've gone, Albrecht's been by my side, no matter what. I wish I could join that group of girls. I'm gonna ask. Could I play? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Come sit with us. And that's how I learned to make friends. Having Albert with me made it much easier to talk to people. <laughs> Such a beautiful story. <laughs> uh -oh. Wait, <laughs> what is that? Hey, look! There's something heading towards us! Are you kidding me? It's that bear again! This is unbearable! Kurumi! Princess, please go. I shall battle him. 
for you. This is my duty. Oh, but you can't! Kurumi! Hurry up! He's not kidding! This is bad! <laughs> Princess Kurumi! Princess, run away now, as fast as you can. No, I won't. I'll go with the prince. No, you mustn't, princess. Please listen to me. You protected me my entire life until now and helped me to be brave. Now it's my turn to protect you. Even if... Even if it costs me my life. It's gonna be okay. You can't do this, Kurumi. I won't let you. Please. If I really did create this whole world inside of my own head, that means I have no other choice than to fight my way out. All right, then. <laughs> Let's go with her. No, big brother. You have to stay here. It's my fate. I have to face it. Hey, princess! Honey, I'm still waiting! <laughs> Finally! Princess Kurumi will be my wife! Now come hither! It is time for us to be king and queen! For the eternal glory of that Igumon family! Sorry, I declined! What? I said I declined! <sighs> What's happening? I will fight! I swear I will fight! I promise to do my duty as a member of this team! And also, to protect my dear Albrecht! My best friend for life! Look at the rake! It's said to purge the Kuma McLaren family of misfortune, bringing good fortune instead. It's also known as the Golden Bear Hand. In her grasp, the legend is about to be reawakened. Here I go! That was very foolish! facing in her mind, and now that she has, she's ready to face the real world again. Thank you, Albrecht. Kurumi? <sighs> in the other world, you were going to tell me about something that was weighing you down. What was it? Doesn't matter anymore. I'm okay now. Thank you so much, big brother. You wanna go? <clears throat> Sorry I'm so late. How did he go? Thank goodness. Wait, Kurumi? We're so happy to see you! Harihiko, where were you this whole time? Oh, uh, well, something came up. Whatever. You can tell us later. Meanwhile, we have a phantom to catch. And we could use your help too, Kurumi. <laughs> if you don't mind, she'd prefer to sit this one out. She's been through a lot. No! I'm totally fine. I'll do my best. Looks like you're over your hang-up. Great, then we're off. Right. But not without you, Albrecht. Radioactive material, a radiation detector, and a toxin emitter as well. And last but not least, the box also contains a cat. Why? That's scary! It's so we can demonstrate a famous physics thought experiment commonly known as Schrodinger's cat. Electrons, before they're observed, take the properties of a wave that fills space. Not until one is observed is it confirmed as a particle that occupies a point in space. In the same way, whether or not there's been any kind of atomic decay in the box, can only be determined by means of what is called objective observational verification. But this box is rigged so that the poison emitter will be triggered whenever an atom begins to decay. A 
According to a theory of quantum mechanics, it's a perfect paradox. The cat inside the box would be both dead because of the radioactive decay, and alive if there were no decay. It would exist in both states equally in superposition. But that's only What does that even mean? Of course, in reality, we understand that it's impossible for a cat to be dead and alive simultaneously. But this is simply meant to be a thought experiment that highlights one of the issues with quantum mechanics. Well, so let's say we're talking about a pair of panties under a skirt. Would it be like you're both wearing them and also not wearing them until someone actually sees them? Is that how it works? Who do you think you are, Von Neumann? Yeah, obviously. Uh, you okay? How do he go? I'm tired. Uh, you shouldn't stay up so late reading every night. Have we met? That's what I do. However, once first term is done, I'm gonna sleep all day. Wow, oh, that's a major red flag there. Sosaki's I Am a Cat is said to have been inspired by the renowned German author E.T.A. Hoffman. It's a satirical novel about the past. Come on, Haruhiko, you're in the middle of class right now! So look alive! <laughs> Shosuke's not even trying. What the? Even the teacher? Look at all those lazy slackers. The middle of the day and they're all completely passed out. You were napping too, Shosuke! Well, I think our circadian rhythms must be out of whack due to the longer rainy season. Sir, what did you say? In other words, your internal clock. If you stay up too late or don't get enough vitamin D from the sun, your bedtime can get a bit crazy. Crazy bedtime, huh? That sounds pretty hot, actually. Get your mind out of the gut! <laughs> so, what are you having today? Ooh, the fish looks really good. What's up, man? Hey, how did he go? Come over, we saved seats for you guys! <laughs> Oh, it looks like you're both having the fried fish too, huh? You two are close, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just have this insane craving for fish. I know, me too! I forgot how much I love it! It's so good! Yeah, it's the best! Check it out, guys. It looks like everyone else is having the fish today, too. You're right, what's up with that? So is fish like what all the cool kids are eating these days? Interesting. I never realized how comfortable it is lying down like this. What is this? That's the cat mansion you saw. Did you say cat mansion? Wait, come to think of it, that does sound familiar to me. Yeah, apparently it used to be a dorm back in the day, but no one lives there anymore. The manager had a thing for cats, so cats from all over the neighborhood ended up there. A lot of strays kept living in the house even after it was abandoned. Sometimes, cat-loving students would go hang out there too, but it's kind of old and falling apart. So even a tiny accident usually meant an injury. Then, of course, parents began to complain at the PTA meetings. All the cats were removed, and they made the building off-limits to the public. That's so sad. Those poor kitties. Anyway, what makes you ask about it? Nothing. I'm gonna head home. Sure. Man, I'm so sleepy today. Yeah, I know, same here. Look, I'm tired too, but you guys should really mind your manners. Yeah, well, we're not the only ones. Everyone here's been napping all day. They're all over the campus. I hope they don't get bitten by bugs out there. Excuse me. Kurumi! But I, um, I was hoping I could talk to you guys about something today. I just need to sit. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm so sleepy. Oh, it's okay. The rest of us are really tired today, too. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell are you doing? You too, Reyna! <gasps> Try taking a look at yourself. <laughs> So the same thing is happening here at the high school, too. Just like at my school. Wow, school's getting super chill. It isn't even chill, it's more like lazy. Seriously, what's going on with the two of you? Oh yeah, you said you had something to discuss with us, right, Kudumi? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Well, I... I was wondering if you could help me find a missing kitty cat. A lost cat? Oh, I thought you were gonna say you had a problem with a phantom. Just so you know, you're sitting in that awkward way again. <gasps> I'm so sorry. So, tell us about the cat. Oh, right. Anina's cat, Rudolph, disappeared not too long ago, and she's really sad about it. I've been looking for him all over the place, but I still don't know where he is. So I asked Kudami if she could help me, and she said she'd ask you guys, since you're really dependable and smart and good at that kind of thing and stuff. I understand. You just want your furry friend back home. Don't worry, because we're all gonna help you look for him, okay? <gasps> Thank you guys so much! So 
So what does your kitty look like? Here, I'll show you. See, this is him. <gasps> He's the cutest! How did he go? I think you should draw a picture of him. Why would I do that? He isn't a phantom. No, I mean for a missing poster. Oh, I see. All right, then. There. Wow, you're really good at drawing. It looks just like him. Oh, come on, I'm not that great. Oh, you're so easily flattered. It's adorable. You know, people could take that the wrong way. Thanks, we appreciate it. Yes, thank you. I hope we can find him. Hey, I know. We should ask the supermarkets if they'll let us post the flyers, too. And tomorrow we'll actively start scouting the neighborhood and outlying areas for him. Mm. Hey, Reyna, what are you looking at? Huh? Huh? Wait, that's... Wait, what is this magic? It has such a tantalizing aroma! That is some intense bonito ness and arresting scent, the manifestation of taste itself! I want some now! <laughs> What's our problem? We're people, we don't eat cat food! I know, ridiculous, right? <laughs> this is so crazy, what are we doing? Hey, look at, look at, check out this funny toy I found! <laughs> Seriously wrong. Hey, cheer up! Your face, mind, and personality might be weird, but that's what makes you so awesome! No, not that! Last night I had a craving for fish again. Then I curled up on the floor, and afterwards I was tempted to chase insects. It's almost as if I'm. Yum, <laughs> yum! Check it out! All of these kids are acting like cats! Oh, you don't see! Well, well, hello there, miss! It seems to me you're hiding something under there! Now let me see! Stop! No, 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 wait! What are you doing? Let her go! Thank you. So what's with the outfit? Don't get me wrong, it looks cute. But Halloween and Cat Ears Day are both months from now. No, I'm not wearing the costume! Hey, how did he go? Why are you giving Reina such a hard time? Big sister mine? You too, Koito? Hurry up, how did he go? Take a picture! Oh, great idea. Let me just get my... <laughs> oh, no, you don't! <laughs> you don't think this is some kind of curse, do you? It's not. This is all clearly the work of a phantom. <laughs> All day. What in the world is this? Can you try to help me get them off, please? It's like a school of cats. It sure is. Yeah, but I wonder why some people still haven't catified yet. Maybe the students with an excess of growth hormone in their systems tend to catify earlier. You know, like all of the athletes we saw before, and maybe anybody else that tends to get a lot of sleep at night. Because kids grow while they sleep? Maybe. Uh, Kurumi? Can you help me? Uh, My mouth isn't working! What happened? <gasps> I guess she's catifying faster because she has a lot of growth hormones. If we can't stop from catifying, what are we going to do? Koito, you mentioned earlier that this was the work of a phantom, right? In the cat mansion. When I was there, I heard a cat cry from inside, and I could vaguely sense a phantom. Its presence is getting stronger by the minute. Meanwhile, all these students happen to be catifying at the same time. This is no coincidence. I still sense its presence. That might just be me. It feels different from you. All right. What do you say we go take down this phantom? Uh, well, it's Rooney Ulf. Are you sure? It's him. Really? And you're positive that's his voice? Then Rudolph is here. Let's go. It's unlocked. We're coming in. Wow, this is some classic old architecture. What about the lights? I don't think the power's on in here. Really sets the mood. I hope we can do this before sundown. <gasps> Oops, I must have slipped. It's okay. There's no telling what might pop up around here, so be careful, all right? Okay, uh let's just take a step back, you two. Hey, what the... We have to do this by sunset, so let's keep our eyes on the prize, got it? 
At least there don't seem to be that many rooms. Should be easy. Ew, it smells moldy. I wonder how old this is. It's more run down than it looks. How do you feel? You okay? Yeah, for the meal mint. Do you still sense the phantom? It's steady, but it should be nearby. Rudolph's gotta be here somewhere. A tiny kitten could be hiding anywhere. I can hear him, but... You think he's alive? Or maybe... It's kinda like that Schrodinger's cat theory. Wait, whose cat? It's this crazy idea where you have radioactive material and a deadly poison in a box with a cat, and the cat exists in states of being both alive and dead at the same time, until you open the box. Before your imagination runs away with you, the point Schrodinger was trying to make was that it was absurd, if not totally impossible. Well, scientific brain teasers aside, we still have to find out if Rudolph's even here, and make sure he is alive. Don't say that! I know he is! You're absolutely right! It's okay, we're just being silly! Rudolph's fine! Of course he is. Please don't cry. Now, let's go find him. All of the rooms look so similar. I don't even remember how many we've checked. We might have accidentally looped back somewhere. That's impossible. Hurry, it'll be sunset soon. Hey, Rudy! We have time. It's still midday. I don't think so. How many floors are there? I thought it was only three stories. Well, it feels a lot more like ten. I'm freezing. What about you guys? It's pretty comfortable for me. I can feel the wind. The phantom's nearby. What's going on? We've looked everywhere, but we haven't found anything. The kitten has to be here. The phantom's presence, the endless hallways, the faint sound of a bell. This mansion has taken us on a journey, but where and why? Come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Stop spinning. She's catifying fast. Let's find a place to take a break for a bit. Where are we? Maybe it's a dining hall or something. Uh. <gasps> <gasps> oh, wait! Does that mean the phantom's in here? Not good. The door's jammed and I can't open it. And the window? It won't open either. And we're way too high to jump. Ironically, it's almost as though we're the cats in the box. No way! Perhaps this entire mansion is the Phantom! Then we have to seal it right now! Breaking, 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 breaking! Break into the tune of creation! Tuning in, tuning in, tuning in, tuning in! Now I tunnel the flames! Ah! Ah! Don't, don't burn down the mansion! We'll go up in flames with it! From my kidneys to my fists! in here, my The ceiling will collapse and crush us! Quit your whining, grab your sketchbook and just seal it already, will you? I can't draw the whole room without going outside! Listen, Reyna! Could you eat the mansion? Not from the inside of it! Now what? Hey guys, move! Move! <gasps> Wait, those look like... Ooh, cat towers! It's all kinds of stuff cats like to play with. I'm tempted to pounce. We'll fight the urge. It might be welcoming us. It even seems friendly. We have to go after her. I'm still tempted to Not now. Come on! Could it be that Rudolph is already gone? Hey, watch where you're putting your foot! Sorry, I can't help it. It's cramped in here. <laughs> mansion. Are those people real? No, I think those are hallucinations. Those are its memories. Hmm. I see now. This phantom doesn't mean us any harm. Yeah. Uh, hey, wait! Please, Mr. Mansion Phantom, 
I see and understand your pain. I know you're trying to recreate the mansion as it was when there was life here. And I feel your loneliness and sadness throughout the passing seasons. Someone else is lonely too. And she wants you to return the kitten you've been keeping here. What's she doing? Please, Phantom! Let Rodolph go! Consciousness causes collapse. What's that mean? There's a philosophical idea that a person's consciousness or mind is capable of affecting the outcome of objective measurement. What? Just a person's mind? Yes, but it isn't a very scientific theory. And it was dismissed as foolish when it was first introduced. But this interpretation? Well, it works just fine for me. Schrodinger's cat was proposed as a paradox to debunk it because it didn't make sense. But who said feelings are logical? Okay, but I still don't quite get it. In other words, it was Kurumi's feelings about Rudolph that determined he was alive. And she was right. Sometimes the heart knows more than the brain. Uh. Uh. We're back now. So that means the Cat Mansion Phantom was the one catifying everyone all along. They sound like me again. It's a good thing that we found Rudolph, huh? Yeah. Why'd it take him, though? It said it was lonely because there used to be lots of cats here all the time, but then they went away. Of course. That makes sense. I bet when Rudolph wandered in, it must have been overwhelmed by the desire to have real cats here again. That desire then radiated throughout the area, turning people into cats. Hey guys, there's one more thing we should do before we go. If this place is clean and pretty again, I bet more people will come and visit it. Maybe then it'll be just as lively as it was before the cats left. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm so happy to have Rudolph back home. Thank you all very much. We want to help you clean up the house, too. Oh, that's so sweet. Everyone, I've spoken with the staff of the school, and they told me we can use the mansion in any way we see fit. So, how do you feel about turning this place into a tea house for the students? Sound good? <gasps> oh, yes. And when we're done cleaning, let's have a tea party to celebrate. Yay! Yay! Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like an ordinary mansion again. It may appear to be normal, but there's always much more than meets the eye. It's full of surprising, uncertain, and unpredictable things. Kind of like us human beings. <laughs> Quit being so pretentious! What did you hit me for? Oh, no reason. What do you mean, no reason? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. You always do that, my... Hello, viewers. How do you feel about hot springs? They're delightful, right? So warm and healing. Even dipping in one briefly can give you a taste of pure bliss. Uh, that hits the spot. Historians have said that humanity has enjoyed the use of hot springs for centuries. Ancient records make this estimation quite evident. There are roughly 3,000 hot spring locations all over Japan. And more impressively, 100 million visits are made to hot spring facilities each year, give or take a few. These days, visiting them is more of a leisure activity for tourism and skin care. But in the past, they were primarily used for health and well-being, in therapeutic techniques called hot spring treatments. And with good reason. After all, some of the benefits include improved circulation and stimulating parasympathetic nerve activity. So it's proven. It feels great and has physiological perks as well. Famous samurai Ryoma Sakamoto once took a hot spring trip with his wife, Oryo. This trip has been widely regarded as the first ever honeymoon in recorded Japanese history. We've now determined that hot springs can effectively heal the body, mind, heart, and soul. And they also happen to be the subject of this week's story. <sighs> that felt so good! Overseas, quaffing the elixir is also a commonplace practice. It's a nickname for drinking water from hot springs. But be aware, some such water is unfit for consumption. And on that note, let's give it a try. <sighs> Ew, you feel like I'm a drink now? Don't be alarmed. I believe this water came from a safe source. If you take five of hey, Haruhiko, what's that book you're reading? I've been studying to learn this new skill I heard about. It's called a Bromelin's Finger. It's hard, but I know I can master it. in permutations, you arrange them in order, but in combinations, you choose randomly. It's unusually hot outside today. Goodness.
blame the heat. Haruhiko! Huh? What do you think might have caused this to happen? It must be because of the phantom down there. I wonder if that monkey was the one who dug up the hot spring. It's not likely. Everything including the smaller monkeys and the hot spring itself are phantoms too. It does look nice. I want to take off my uniform and jump in with them. Uh, that's totally inappropriate. Looks like classes are done for the day. So I'm gonna take this chance to wash the sweat off! <laughs> he kinda had that coming. Haruhiko, couldn't you just seal the phantom? Not unless I can draw its entire body. And the water's too murky. I can't see beneath it. How can you be so useless? Hey, why can't you just swallow the phantom? That won't work. It has to be weakened to a certain extent. I see. As things stand, we won't be able to hold classes, so it appears we'll have to schedule them over summer break. Wait, man, I suck! Give me a break. If you don't want that, then you'll have to work together to take down that phantom. You're telling us to do your job? How are we hey, you all right, Kweito? Up. I feel awful. 
This is disastrous. Almost all the students have been put out of commission. If I can just get close enough without it spotting me, I think I can take it down. Get close enough? Hmm. Hey, I know. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, and stop! Where did you even find this old thing? I borrowed it from the drama club. Okay, but why'd you pick a horse? Don't you know? It's called the Trojan Horse. In Greek mythology, Odysseus built a massive wooden horse filled with soldiers to sneak past the city of Troy's impenetrable defenses. I couldn't care less. Just start walking. <laughs> Why can't you walk normally? I am. You're just walking too fast. Give me a chance to sit up with you. Good. Keep going in a straight line. And be careful. We can't let it notice us. So, uh... swimsuits now. Yeah, I guess I should be glad the swim classes have already started. Hmm? Hey, Koito. Have you recovered already? Yes. This time I'll take down that monkey for sure. Consider that this phantom's attribute is probably water. Even with your flame power, I don't think you can defeat it. We shouldn't go at this haphazardly. Then what do we do, genius? I say we just leave him alone. He looks comfortable. <sighs> if only we could draw him out of the water. I'm certain I could seal him then. Okay, in that case... Mr. Monkey? Hi there! I'd like it very much if you'd come over here. Come on. What do you say? Why is she doing that? It seems pretty lame. No, that isn't how flirting works, Reina. You gotta use your assets! <gasps> Am I doing it right? It's all in the butt! <gasps> Monkey Sora, why don't you get out of the water now and make friends with me? Pretty please? Oh, he's coming. Closer. A little closer. Even closer. Using the golden bear hand, maybe? No, I can't. When we got back from the bear world, it was gone. I guess it only worked there. Then try this instead! So. What does that mean? 
There's one last option I can think of. What's that? I'm scared to even ask. Well, did you know, when a female monkey goes into heat, her bottom turns red. But then to seduce males, she shows off her butt. I see. Then we need to make our butts red. Yeah, and the one most suited for that task is... Go to hell! Please, Mai! This is the best way to lure the phantom close enough to seal! I can't do it in case you forgot! That thing licked me twice! I'm begging you! <sighs> so you're saying the only way to seal that phantom is to let it assault me again? Absolutely not. I'm gonna seal him before that happens. Oh, fine. I guess I'll do it then! I have to do everything! <clears throat> really? Come on, Haruhiko, hurry it up, would ya? legendary cephalopod monster who descended on Earth long ago in the Grimoire Necronomicon, Cthulhu. How did you summon it without a drawing? A Bromelin's finger technique. It can summon creatures with no picture. During the times when I didn't have my sketchbook, I couldn't summon anything, so I've been practicing. Kiki! 
are exciting? Perhaps it's to learn from the lessons of the past. Of course, those are some elements, however. Tell me your name, bitch, or I'll kill you! I am known as Human beings have many instincts. One of them is a deep desire to inform and enrich our collective unconscious. And one of the ways we achieve that is to tell stories about what people of your experience through the power of theater. Oh, fine. What's a collective unconscious? In layman's terms, it's the idea that at our core, we all share common feelings and experiences, and it unites us despite our differences. It was a theory first espoused by Swiss psychologist Carl Jung. <laughs> oh, let you go. You sly, sneaky bastard, you. I'm explaining something. Just listen. <laughs> Hichikata-san, are the circulating rumors true? That is what I'm here to find out. Kondo-san is also making his way over. Soji, look over there! It's a Shinsengumi's first chief, Kamuza Izawa! Have you returned to exact revenge on us for assassinating you? Wait, you are mistaken. That is a yokai. It's just an imposter of Serizawa. And it clearly means to take the town. Well, not if we have anything to say about it! We must protect Kyoto no matter the cost! So, guys, what do you think of my script? Isn't it so brilliant? And what is it you want us to do with this? I want you to help the drama club by starring in it! There's one problem. We're not actors. Yeah, but nobody has joined the drama club yet this year. I'm actually the only member right now. And I sure can't enter any competitions that way. We're classmates, aren't we? Come on, Mai, help me out! Tale of the Bakumatsu Yokai. Shinsengumi vs. Phantom. The Battle of Ikedaya. By Ayumi Kitajima. That's weird, but it also looks crazy fun! This play is based on the Ikedaya incident? That's very ambitious, but you should know it's factually incorrect and blatantly anachronistic, too. It's fine. As long as it's fun and easy to understand. You'll never get anywhere in life being such a square all the time. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. That's the real power of being young. And that's what it means to know sweet, sweet freedom! She's passionate, isn't she? Well, she is an actress, so what do you expect? Excuse me, but I've never acted before, so I don't know if I can. Pretty please? How about if I treat you to lunch, then? I'm your girl! When that huge monkey attacked, I generously lent you props and costumes to save your butts. I'd say you owe me one for that, wouldn't you? I guess when you put it that way, I can't really say no. Yay, let's do it! We're in! I shall now announce my casting choices. As Shinsengumi Vice Chief Toshizo Hijikata, Haruhiko Ichijo. As Captain Soji Okita, Miss Reina Izumi. As Chief Isami Kondo, it's Ruru! Yeah! The Phantom's hostage from town will be my Kawakami. No offense, but I think I'd make a better commander. Aha, uh -huh, but I'm casting against type. And speaking of that, I've cast Kurumi Kumamakura as Ryoma Sakamoto. I have no idea what I'm doing! Help me! Hmm. 
last but not least, as Izo Okura, the assassin, Koito Minase. I, Ayumiki Tajima, will be playing the part of the evil phantom. Why am I getting roped into this crap? Because without you, there aren't enough people to fill all the roles. Be a sport. I could use a few more cute girls up here. Don't worry, I promise we'll have your back. Let's give her a hand. If you say so, Harahiko, I'll try to do my best. Thanks, Kurumi. You're a pal. Fine, then. I'll help you. Really? Thank you! You changed your mind pretty fast. What's going on? I just felt a strong presence. It's probably because there's a phantom nearby. For real? Well, the building is centuries old, you know. It might be a phantom who loves the spirit of the theater! Our very own phantom of the opera. Or actually, it would be more like the phantom of the drama club, right? <laughs> I'll play along for now till we learn what it is. If it's aggressive, it could also be dangerous. Koito, you're worried about us, aren't you? I didn't know you had it in you, Koito! It's not it. I just don't think you can handle it alone. Oh, look, she's blushing! I don't care what the reason is! As long as you guys are game for this, I'm happy! Thanks a million, everyone! This will be the most fun you've ever had! Ugh, you losers! Hack! Stupid amateurs! You're stinking up my stage! You just get out of here! <laughs> what do you expect? We haven't even had time to learn our lines yet! Can we maybe have a five-minute break? You don't break, rest, or eat until you nail the scene the way I wrote it! Again! <laughs> oh. Ma'am, I can't find my mark. Where is it? You're supposed to enter from there, Kurumi. I'm not in this scene, so I'm just gonna watch everyone screw it up! I'd literally rather be anywhere else. Oh, I'm freaking exhausted. Drama club seems even more strenuous than sports. Hey, Kurumi, since we're already on the way, do you want us to walk you home? Yes, thanks. I'm so tired I could fall down. Sorry about that, you guys. When it comes to the theater, I just get super worked up. I can't help it. Oh, we don't mind. It's hard, but lots of fun. You didn't even have to do anything. To tell you the truth, our drama club has lost out in the prelims for ten years in a row now. That long? Oh, those other actors must have really sucked! Stop it. So this year, I'm gonna blow the preliminaries away. Because I want to make the senior club members proud. Well, this kind of thing's fun every once in a while. Right, Koito? Sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, no! The rehearsals were arduous, but gratifying. Shosuke and some of our senior drama club members helped out with lighting and sound effects. We even visited some points of interest famous for their dramatic history. If you didn't know, the Ikedaya incident happened when anti-Tokugawa rebels started a huge fire in Kyoto and attempted to abduct Emperor Komei, only to be brutally thwarted by the Shinsengumi. The rehearsals went well. However, the phantom we expected never appeared. Finally, the day of the competition arrived. To be, or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles. All these other actors seem so experienced. Yeah. <gasps> I'm really nervous. You are? I'm getting excited! Okay, Alfred, let's break our legs. All right, we're up next, and we have a packed house, too! I might be a mermaid, but I'm still getting goosebumps! Haruhiko, don't blow it. Let's make those rehearsals count, and bring the house down! The regionals aren't gonna know what hit them! Give them 100%! Mm -hmm. Well, why stop there? We might as well give them 200%! Hosea Academy Drama Club! Let's go! Yeah! yeah! All right! Curtain time! Next, the Hosea Academy Drama Club. They will perform Tale of the Bakumatsu Yokai, Shinsengumi vs. Phantom, The Battle of Ikedaya. Hijikata-san, are those circulating rumors true? That is what I am here to find out. Kondo-san is also making his way over. Soji, look over there! I'm on. Ah! It's Kamo Sanizawa! Are you here for revenge? You are mistaken, Soji. That is in fact a yokai! <gasps> It wants to take the town for itself! <laughs> what the? What is this? Where are we? I'm scared. What's going on? Maybe we're being tricked by a phantom. Just as I thought. Um, 
from the pits? It must have taken on Serizawa's human form to try and sack the town. Toshi, Snowji, I'm here! Are you all right? Kondo-san! Ah! I told me you in there? Ah! Roll with it. Let's keep going. to make it believable. Huh. What an awesome idea. That was much more layered than I would have expected. Every year it seems like these high school plays get more and more elaborate. That said, I think there's a problem. So now you know, I'm not the talented human actor you thought I was. All the suppressed rage and frustration of losing for ten straight years needed to find a way out. So much so that it manifested as a phantom. That's the real me. So you disguised yourself as a human and hid among the other students? Uh-huh. And I manipulated your memories, pretending to be a second-year drama student this whole time. Why do they keep ad-libbing their lines? Let's just match the lighting and sound effects with their actions as best we can. Then I'll handle the music. Be right back. I need to go check the lighting again. Did you realize it, Koito? I had a hunch, but I didn't know what her intentions were, so I waited. I didn't mean any harm by it. But I also didn't think you'd help me if I told you I'm a phantom. I figured I'd scare you away for good. So I kept my identity secret. I was born for drama. I lived for it. I wanted to enter the competition. And make all the unfulfilled dreams of the last decade a reality. And that goal, I swear to you all here, was my only true desire! I have deceived you. You needn't forgive me. Go ahead. Seal me or do whatever you must. No, we'll see the play through, Ayumi. Do you really mean it? After that, you still consider me your director? Phantom or human, you're our friend and we're all in this together, right? We work so hard and we're proud to be part of it with you. I want to finish the play too and I'm not even any good. Yeah, I suppose I wouldn't want all those fun rehearsals to go to waste either. Well, in that case, let's put on a show. <laughs> you're the best. Thank you so much, everyone. Ah, oh, the sweet innocence of youth. So pure, so beautiful, so adorably naive. I love it! I didn't get the story at all, but I really liked it anyway. Me too, I'm such a sucker for good drama. It was so intense, like we weren't even acting. A little cliched, but powerful nonetheless. And I never expected that poignant twist at the end. It must be a meta play where the actor's lines become self-referential. Uh-oh. I forgot we were on stage. Yes, but they all seem to believe this is part of the play, too, so I think it's okay. Let's just ignore them and keep going. Isn't that cool with you? Oh, yeah. Totally. <clears throat> Kondo-san! We have to learn how to get along! It's the only way! Come on! Don't be so naive, Ryoma Sakamoto! You're an anti-Tokugawa mastermind! We are eternal sworn enemies. I, uh... <sighs> Oh yeah, the Aizu leader you serve seeks reconciliation between the Shogunate and the court! You must know that I too wish to avoid a bloody civil war! We ought to talk now before it's too late! Uh, why is there a bear in this play? It's no use, Ryoma. We and the Shinsengumi are as vastly opposed as oil and water. I am Izo Okuda of the Tosakino. We are finished talking! Now draw! With pleasure, sir! Let us fight to the death! I am Shinsengumi Captain Okita! Now prepare to die! Wait! Kondo-san! Soji! Drop your weapons! We've been deceived! Explain yourself, Toshi! The ones who killed the pro-shogunates and the ones attacking the anti-shogunates, they were not men, but yokai! This was their objective. To pit us against each other and steal the nation when our backs were turned. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I applaud you, Hijikata! You somehow saw through my clever plan! You're the same yokai that we defeated before! You were alive then? I am not a yokai! I am a phantom! <laughs> Soon this town will be a sea of flames, and the entire nation will be under our reign at last! It's uh, 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 fine! Wire work! Uh, <laughs> look, she's all scary again! 
And the set seems to have changed. It must be emanating from Ayumi. When she gets too wrapped up in the performance, her phantom powers change her and affect the surroundings, too. The show must go on. Phantom! I will not let you succeed with your scheme! Yeah, what he said! Ha 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 ha! Will this change your mind? Help me, please! No! It has taken the gentle and light shine hostage! She provides us food and shelter! Ever since that stupid monkey attacked, I end up playing the victim. How dare you, Phantom? How dare you? Oh, what's the way? Oh, yeah, object a nice lady! Then what are you gonna do about it? You'll never see her again! Oh, no! Ha! This is getting annoying! How did he go? Everyone in the audience is here! I must say, this is a wonderful showing. The Gion Festival is only once a year, after all. I've never seen such a beautiful sky, have you? Summer nights are wonderful, especially when the moon is so high. Yes, it's marvelous indeed. Might we not get in trouble for our quaint little accents? We sound awfully provincial. A sumo wrestler says, he says, dosu quaint. Doshi so soji, let's go after them! Yeah! Yeah! Isa son, come on, let's catch up with them! The whole town is abuzz with the Gion Festival. We must hurry or there will be more victims. Lost them. Where'd they go? There's no way we'll find them. This town is too big. Everybody stay calm. If I'm correct, the situation should follow the script. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be at that Ikadaya Inn place, remember? Hey, look! There it is! You're right. That was definitely in her script. I'm glad she included all those details. Come on! The Shins and Goofy would like a word with you! Ryoma Sakamoto! And Izo Okuda are here as well. <laughs> The Shinjin Gumi! What the? Shosuke? Check it out! Shosuke's the shopkeeper! Keep up the performance. If we can stick it out to the end, we'll all go back to normal. <laughs> this is bad! Run, everyone! It's the Shinjin Gumi! Sorry, Shosuke! <laughs> oh, he got me! <laughs> We're really sorry, Shosuke. Shinjin Gumi on the scene! <laughs> Eiji Kata-san, help me! Let her go! How dare you, Shinsengumi scum! You may think you've stopped me, but the fight is only just beginning! Go! Get them!
Oh, come on. I should have just sealed her when we had the chance. You know what, man? This is so fun! All right, you guys. Once more from the top of that scene. Okay. Swimming at the beach, the buzzing of cicadas, haunted houses. There are many things that remind me of summer. But there's one thing that stands out above all the rest. The Fireworks Festival! Fireworks? Back during the Edo period, famine and disease wreaked havoc on the people of Japan. Fireworks were used to mourn the dead and entertain the poor. Now they're a summertime tradition. Wow, so they've been around for a while. Of course, these days you can watch them on TV. But nothing compares to the raw excitement of watching them live. The sound, the scent, the brilliant colors. Excitement! And perhaps most importantly, when we all watch them bloom in the sky together, the unity! The unity! The novelty of the situation gives some people the courage to be bolder than usual. It's a classic thing to do on a date for those people who actually have lives. Firework festivals! Necktie. Gotta find my necktie. <laughs> hey, look at these food stands! What? They're all gonna be at the fireworks That's festival! Right. There'll be shaved ice, takoyaki, candy apples, and ramune! That cool drink with the marble in it! Without ramune, we're nothing right, Haruhi! Haruhiko! You're so small, I couldn't see you. You suck! Can you see me now? What about now? Am I still invisible? How do you like this? Alright, I get it! Oh, there it is! Oh man, I gotta go! I'm late! Say it again. Being so small can be really frustrating sometimes. I can't even finish a whole bottle of Ramune. Uh, uh. Ah, if I were bigger, I'd never have trouble finishing a bottle. I'd even drink two! Excuse me, miss. Well, it sounds like you have a wish you'd like fulfill. <laughs> You're a phantom! I'd like to grant you that wish, if I may. You needn't be suspicious of me. Yeah, well, it's too late for that! I assure you, I'm merely a benevolent witch phantom. I'm just more unusual than most. My purpose is to grant the wishes of other phantoms. Sorry, but that sounds way too good to be true. What's the catch? You grant my wish and I give you my soul in exchange or something? Absolutely not. This is my sole reason for being. I promise, no strings attached. No strings attached, really? A witch always keeps her word. I guess I'll take you up on your offer then. Oh, that's wonderful. So, tell me this wish of yours. What I really want is to be human-sized. Oh, I can make that happen. Oh, but you realize once you're human-sized, you won't be able to fly like you can now. You'll just fall down. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I guess it'd be weird if humans were all flying around. That's okay. And just one more thing. If anyone finds out who you truly are, the spell breaks and you'll immediately return to being tiny. Ah, I know someone who can sense their phantoms are even from miles away. If Quito finds out, it's all over for me. Not to worry, I'll take care of everything. When I'm done with you, nobody will doubt that you're a real human girl. It'll be so easy, you'll see. All right, here we go. Fan, fan, phantom! Grow bigger now. Grow bigger now. So is this really me? It sure is. What do you think? It's amazing, witch. I'm so glad you like it. I gotta go. Enjoy your new body. Have a nice day. <laughs> Class, take your seats. We have a new student joining us today, so let's do our best to make her feel welcome. A transfer student. Come in, we're ready for you. Introduce yourself. Introduce myself? Yes. Start with your name. But the witch forgot to give me one. It's... Uh... <sighs> <sighs> Natsuno. My name's Natsuno Ramane. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Welcome, Natsuno. Your seat's over there. Each joke, look after her. Okay. Woohoo! I'm next to Haruhiko! <laughs> oh, are you all right? Yeah, I 
forgot I can't fly. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just really clumsy. It's nice to meet you, Natsuno. You too. <laughs> he has no idea it's me. Hey, don't you think Natsuno looks like me? Huh? No, not at all. Natsuno's way cuter. <sighs> hey, wait a second. Natsuno, let me know if you need anything, okay? The Onan War continued for roughly ten years, leading to the end of the Muromachi period when Oda Nobunaga drove out the last shogun, followed by the sharp rise of powerful warlord. What are you doing? You Lord, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Class isn't done yet. Come on, Natsuno. It's time for our next class. Okay. The physics room is right downstairs. Great. I'll meet you there. Oh. <laughs> hey, are you okay, Natsuno? That was dumb. Okay, she's really free-spirited. Hey, Natsuno, wanna join the tennis team? What about the gymnastics team? You wanna do that? The rock and go team could use someone like you. The ping pong team, too. Those all sound like so much fun! What's going on? Recruiting tactics, cute girls are instantly popular. You should go ask her to join the phantom hunting club, like now. There's no point. She mentioned earlier that she doesn't have any special abilities. say before that you don't have any special abilities? I want to check it out anyway. All right, then. The club room's this way. I'm almost as tall as how did he go now. I always wondered what that would be like. Welcome to the club room. Oh, so who's awesome. that? I think she's the student who transferred into Haruhiko's class. Mm, transfer student? Natsuno doesn't have special abilities, but she's interested in observing what we do, so I brought her here. I'm Supervisor Himeno. Welcome, and please make yourself at home. Meet Mai Kawakami, second year, Kurumi Kumumakura, fourth grade, and Albrecht. Rena Izumi and Koito Minase, both first years. <sighs> I hope Koito doesn't figure me out. Natsuno, tell us a little bit about yourself. Mm, well, I... <gasps> I had a pretty sad childhood. My parents both died half a year before I was born, so I really don't know anything about them. The story just comes to me without even thinking. Nice job, witch! Wait a minute. If your mom died half a year before you were born, then how could you even exist? That makes no sense. <gasps> oh, whoopsie. I meant half a year after. Either way, I feel so bad for you. Come on, witch! Help me out here! North to Hokkaido, then south to Okinawa. I was passed around among my relatives, only to be eventually tossed out into the cold world all alone. I did everything I needed to do to survive, legal or not. I can't even talk about it. It must have been awful for you. Weary of such a vagabond life. I was convinced that I would die on the streets if my luck didn't change soon. But my luck did change because at that moment, I met my long lost grandma and grandpa and they took me home with them. Thank goodness. That's a very dramatic existence. I'm busted. You've been through so much. Wow, thank you. Even Koito bought the story. We did it, witch! So sweet! Natsuno, we'll take care of you. From now on, you stick with us. Because you have so much lost time to make up for. <sighs> There's a fireworks festival today. Phantoms are likely to appear where large crowds are gathered. So let's all go enjoy the event and keep watch while we're at it. Fireworks? All of us? I'm glad you like it, but you know we're only borrowing them. Good thing Reina was there to help her put it on. That's a high-class lady. Oh, it was nothing. By the way, Haruhiko, where's Ruru? Why didn't she come with us? I thought she wanted to see the fireworks. Ruru's the name of the phantom who hangs out with Haruhiko all the time. Huh. Uh, I stepped on her by accident this morning. Maybe she's mad at me. You stepped on her? You suck, Haruhiko. Take it easy. She's fine. That phantom is tough. I'm sure she'll be here by the time the fireworks start. She also said something about wanting Ramune. <laughs> I miss her, and I hope she gets here okay. Hey, Natsuno. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's the first thing you want to do at the festival? <sighs> I want to go to the food stands and have shaved ice, takoyaki, and candy. Where have I heard that before? Oh, and Ramune. Sounds great. We'll do all that as soon as we get there. <sighs>
Phantom. A firework that got turned into a skumagami. I bet you have a wish, don't you? I, the Witch Phantom, will be delighted to grant it for you right now. Wow, such a big crowd. Really, it's hard to even get around. Oh, there it is! I found the shaved ice doll! Natsuno! How did he go? Natsuno? You know how people say, Tamaya, when they see fireworks. Oh, my feet hurt. I wish I could still fly. Being human is kind of lame. And Tamaya is... Uh, Natsuno? Uh, oh, your sandals. Your feet must really hurt. Let's take a break. I'll tell Maya and... Damn, we got separated. There, that should make your foot feel a little better. Thanks so much. You should be this nice to me every day when I'm my real self. Huh? Nothing. Okay, now show me your other foot. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, you know, Ruru? That phantom we were talking about earlier? She said she wanted to try some Ramune. Mm -hmm. So what's Ruru like anyway? Well, actually, I've gotten pretty used to her being around all the time. So, when she isn't... <gasps> it's really peaceful. <laughs> She's bright and cheery, though. Always makes things lively. And exhausting. But still, I can't believe she's not here. I'll buy her that ramune, just in case. Then again, she's so small, she can't finish it. It would be a waste of money. Ah, hey! What was that? There was a mosquito on you! Stupid Haruhiko, that's what you get! All right, then. I'm gonna get that ramune. Oh, will you buy me one? Oh, you want some, too? Later, I guess. I thought you wanted it now. <laughs> no, later's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, look at that! It's a fireworks phantom! Hey! Let's blow the roof off this place! I know that pendant. A firework phantom. Get to someplace safe, quickly! Wait, where are you? How did he go? Come on, guys! We're gonna have a blast! Hi! How did he go? This phantom is dangerous. It's going crazy and there's such a huge crowd here. We have to take care of it fast. I'll burn it. No, wait! You can't! That'll cause a huge explosion! So using Koito's voice is off the table. Then let me try. <gasps> Stop, Rita! That thing is full of gunpowder! It'll rip your stomach apart! But we have to do something. At its core, it's pure fire. So its weakness is the water chi! <laughs> I missed it. I think I can take care of this. Albert, get him! Albert, no! I know how to seal it. Yakin for it. Come with me. How did he go? Oh, what should I do? It's not out of control. Doo -doo? Oh, whoa. I never 
never occurred to me, not even once. So then, that whole sob story she dumped on us, it was all just a lie? Uh, I'm the only one who knows how to fly, so what can I do? Look at you, caught like a little rat. Wait a minute, what are you doing? What's going on? I just wanted to see what it's like to be me. Just wanted to see? You mean you've been tricking me this whole time? I doubt, I promise we'll talk about it later. call me the phantom hunting mom how did i end up in the situation that gave me this nickname thank you for the delicious meal your appetite never fails to impress me oh i'm sorry no big deal it's a reward for all your hard work right <sighs> yeah listen sit still when we're at the dinner table i hate tomatoes uh, set behave yourself we're never bringing you here again get out from under the table now Were you all that out of control when you were little kids, too? Sort of. I used to be a really picky eater, and it drove my parents crazy. No, my parents were too strict for that. I can't remember. Hit figures. How about you, Mai? Uh, well, uh, I can't remember either. <laughs> put the driver disc in here. Uh, what's in this box again? Ah, uh, it's stuff from elementary school. No way. Uh, my first grade essay. What happened on Sunday? Class 1A. By Haruhiko Ichijo.
housemaid was supposed to wake me up. Where'd she go? This is my room, isn't it? <gasps> They're so big! <gasps> oh, come on, why? That's all I have to do. Oh, where's my backpack? <gasps> Good morning! Who's that? Is he in our class? I've never seen him before. I don't know him either. Well, maybe he's lost. But I... That's weird. Maybe I did go to the wrong room by mistake. Still, I'm certain I'm supposed to be in class 1A. Hey. So you're sure it's your class, but when you went in there, you didn't know anyone? Yeah. And it didn't seem like anyone in there recognized me either. Hmm. Hey! Let's go talk to the teacher. Maybe she can help you. <gasps> so what's your name? My name is Haruhiko Ichijo. <gasps> Did you say Haruhiko? I'm afraid I seem to have no record of anyone with that name in the first grade. In fact, there's no one with that name listed in the entire school. But... Still, I'll ask the other teachers too, just in case. Are you sure your name is really Haruhiko Ichijo and not something that just sounds like it? I swear that's my name. Then you're sure you go to this elementary school, but not another one, right? Yes, Hosea Academy. Hey, you're back there. Do you mind if I see it for a second? Sure. Haruhiko has a bag that looks just like this. Are you positive this is yours? Uh-huh. Is it okay if I look inside? Go ahead. I know this sketchbook. No way! Mm, he does bear a startling resemblance to Haruhiko when he was in elementary school. He has the same stuff in his bag, too. I don't know how to explain it, but I think he might be the real Haruhiko. Well, that's weird. But you're saying you don't recognize any of us? Not even a little? No. He doesn't know who Ruru is either. That's just bizarre because I met Haruhiko when he was in middle school. So do you not even remember that you're a high school student? Do you know what happened last night? Can't you remember anything? Anything at all? Try, you can do it! Come on, think! Haruhiko, it's me! Sorry, little guy. It'll be alright. We're gonna figure out how to get you back to your normal self, okay? Would you please stop treating me like a child? Oh, mm -hmm. come on! You are a child right now! Oh, yeah, but still! <laughs> and a cute one at that! Okay, so you've been like this ever since you woke up this morning, right? Yeah, but I guess it's better than waking up as a monstrous insect. Uh, monstrous insect? Kafka's the metamorphosis. You mean you're in high school and you still haven't read that book yet? No, I haven't. What a surprise. I guess he's always been a nerd. Then he somehow reverted to being a child in his sleep? I wonder if a phantom is responsible for this. I'm not sure. However, we should all go to his house after school and investigate to find possible clues. Anyway, in the meantime, I want you to go to your usual class as though it were any other day. Immersing yourself in routine might help you return to your normal self. Okay, I understand. Thank you for all your kind assistance. I guess I should have known that someone like you has always been a teacher's pet. I think that it would behoove you to be more polite when speaking to your classmates and elders. Oh, shut up, you little brown noser! My name is Haruhiko Ichijo. I look forward to studying with you. According to his story, your classmate Mr. Ichijo woke up as a child this morning. I was recently informed that I'm a high school student. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> There's no way you can be Haruhiko. Well, ladies, I would be honored if you would all teach me things. <laughs> He's so polite! Not fair. You're only six and you've got more game than I do! I'm not sensing any phantoms in here. Well, maybe it only comes around at night and goes somewhere else during the day. Then we shouldn't leave Haruhiko by himself. Someone should act as his chaperone. Oh, nobody needs to supervise me. I'm used to being alone. But... You're right. Someone here's gonna have to look after him. Hey, Rena, you have a big house, right? Mm, yeah, but my parents are a little weird about... Oh, right. Can you kuda me? Hey, I can totally do it! Relax, you guys, I've got this! No, I don't know about that! That's enough! I'd rather deal with it myself than leave it to Dudu. Huh? 
Arahiko. Let's go. If that's what you want, then I have no quarrel with it. Oh, hey, you little punk! I'm doing you a favor! All right, then. It could be a while till you're back to normal, so we'll have to go shopping for some things to get you by. Anything is fine. Except that, it's a little childish. Yeah, well, you're a little childish! Okay, I've got clothes and a toothbrush. What else? Oh, I require an occupation for the evenings. This one, this Just one. Just one! You can only buy one! Okay, where's the ketchup? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm getting a treat. Oh, no, you're not! So close. One more. I made it. For someone so young, you're practically geriatric. What did you just say to me? Watch it, mister! It's small. And incredibly messy. I've heard that women who can't keep a tidy home tend to make poor choices in many other aspects of their lives. <laughs> I should have just left you alone at your house instead of bringing you here! Eat this. Oh, I've never been so exhausted. Excuse me. What now? Do you think maybe you could write out love or something with the ketchup? <laughs> Are you crazy? You're just a little boy! Now I know you're Harihiko! Ever since that day, Harihiko and I have spent almost every waking hour together. I studied, I worked, and of course, Hunted phantoms the rest of the time. Ow! Oops, are you alright? Uh, no, I'm not alright! Poor Mai. You look so tired. I'm worried about you. Uh, those dark circles look pretty hard to bear. Bear? Not that kind of bear. <sighs> I'm exhausted. And I'm just about broke, too. Miss Himeno, is there any way that you could take care of him? Oh, I'm afraid not. Most of my evening hours are spent working at Alayashki. <sighs> if Haruhiko doesn't go back to normal soon, Mai's gonna run herself down and then she'll probably get really sick. Hmm. Let's show him something that he enjoyed before and maybe that'll jolt him back to normal. <laughs> Come on! Look closer! Solve him no more! Oh, man. Hey, Mai? Listen, I promise you that we're going to help figure out what's causing this and then fix it as soon as we can. Raina, thanks. I owe you one. Hiya, Mama! All right, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> this is so fun! Yay! <laughs> Come on. We should try to get some sleep. I have to work early tomorrow. And I want to work, too. Oh, don't be silly. You're only in elementary school. Who'd hire you? All right. Come on, let's go brush our teeth. Are you brushing them properly? Of course I am. Uh, it's on your face. <laughs> Finally. I'm gonna turn the lights off now. Okay. What? Are you actually behaving? Good night. And good night to you. <laughs> don't be scared. It's only a little thunder. I, I'm not scared. I just don't like it. <laughs> if you feel afraid, it's okay to scream. Ah! Or like, ee! If you want. You've always had to deal with things by yourself, haven't you? How did you know? Because I'm all alone, too. I just had a hunch. Really? Yeah. But it's kind of a long story. So we're alike. My dad travels around the world for work all the time. And my mom? Well, she left us. I see. My? What about your mom? What's she like? Mm. 
She was a quiet woman and also very kind. I used to wish I could be like her. <laughs> Maybe my memory of her is what made me think I was like that when I was little. Hey, I have an idea. I'm done with work at noon tomorrow, so why don't we go to the park and play? But... Aren't we supposed to meet up with the others so we can try to figure out how to get me back to normal? Don't you worry about that. I'll explain it to them later. I'm sure they'll understand. What do you think? We're gonna play so much you'll probably fall asleep at the park. <laughs> <laughs> stop us, English. Oh, you no. are? Sorry. Stop. I can't stop. Please stop. No more. Please. <laughs> well, you want to play with me? No, that's more like it. <laughs> Whoa! Impressive! And go! Come on, over here! Okay! Hey, what happened? Uh, nothing. Time for more fun! What's the matter? I want... I want to stay with you. I don't want to go home. How did he go? Market when you were still a little squirt. Wow, I actually read silly things like this? You sure did, but you looked kind of upset when I picked it out for you. Well, if you say so. I can't remember any of it. <sighs> That's too bad. None of it stuck with you? Then there's no way we can ever learn what caused you to turn into a kid in the first place. Uh, could it be? What's up? Oh. I thought maybe it's because I read this. How did he go? Let's go! Everyone's here! 
All right! Mai, we've gotta go. Sure, okay. This is What Happened on Sunday, written by Haruhiko Ichijo, Class 1A. Today, I played with Mom and Dad at the park. I went on the seesaw and the swings, too. After that, I rode down the slides. We laughed a lot and stayed there all day until the sun went down. <laughs> I'd say it was the best day ever. <laughs> this never happened. It was just something he wished for. <laughs> he wanted his essay to be true so badly that he actually turned into a kid again. His abilities reacted to his mind the same way it happened with Kurumi. My, I'm keeping everyone waiting. <sighs> Coming! Haruhiko, why'd you change back to your normal self? We know, right? He was a lot cuter when he was a kid. For real. It's such a shame. Come on, Reina, even you? I thought you'd all be glad I wasn't a kid anymore. Don't be mad, we were only joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's not funny, okay? What is a phantom? Much remains shrouded in mystery, but they're generally thought to be hallucinations or man-made manifestations of such. So you're saying some phantoms are made by people? Well, it's believed that phantoms owe their existence largely to the human subconscious, as well as the language centers in the brain. Wait, I remember! That collective unconscious thing by Jung also has something to do with it, right? In Jungian psychology, there's a prevailing theory of archetypes. Everyone carries in their minds impressions of great mothers, the wise old sage who guides us, themselves as the opposite sex, and an unconscious aspect of their personality called the shadow. So these are the things that become phantoms? But that's not all. Anything that human beings can imagine could possibly become a phantom. Even folklore or fairy tales. That's awesome! Then some of my favorites like Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty might show up as phantoms someday too! Don't count out classics like Urashima Taro or Hanasaka G-san! Oh yeah, you're right! I would like to meet those guys! Folktales aren't copyrighted, so this is all totally legal. <laughs> Reveal your secrets to the Book of Thought! You rock! Go Mai, you're the queen! That was amazing! Your teamwork is so on point! Reina, I love you! Hey, look over here, Kurumi! Goito, marry me! It was mid-July. Before we knew it, our team went from last in the rankings to having the highest grades in phantom hunting. <laughs> Summer break is almost here. We've been so busy kicking butt, I totally forgot. You're going to the beach for training camp, right? So cool! Speaking of that, I have good news. My parents gave me permission to attend camp with you guys. Sounds like you've made a lot of progress with them. Yes, lately they've been a lot more attentive to my feelings and they actually listen to me when I talk. Good for you. That's great, Reyna. Yeah. So have you figured out what that thing is, Koito? It's a communication device, specifically for Alyashki servers. A communication device? Yeah, no one will be able to gain access to the Alyashki servers without it. Where'd you get that thing? Remember when we went to that abandoned factory to seal the robot phantom? Wow, so they just left it lying around? Um, excuse me, Miss Minase? Sorry to bug you, but we're big fans of yours. Uh... Can we take a picture with you? Uh... Okay, big smile. Say cheese! Thank you so much! Come on, let's go <laughs> back to everyone! I know, right? You're so popular, Goido! Some of them have even been sending me letters. What is going on here? Come on, stop pretending you don't enjoy it. I'm doing just as good a job as everyone else. Why am I not more popular? Aw, oh, I'll give you some praise, Haruhiko! Had a boy, good job! <laughs> that isn't helping! <laughs> you went great! Summer vacation was right around the corner. Things are finally starting to look up, or so we thought. Here? A phantom attacked someone with special abilities in the next town over. Yeah, I heard that. 
Looks like someone from another school was attacked before that, too. Here, check it out. Oh, whoa. I'm sorry, man. Oh, no worries. I'm fine. Hey, what's up? You guys? Yeah. Stop right there, Phantom! What do you want from us, lady? Are you the one attacking people with special abilities? Yesterday, three special ability users from another school were attacked by an unidentified phantom. The phantom is called Enigma, a very fitting name. Origins and characteristics unknown. As of now, the one thing we do know is that the victim's special abilities are stolen from them. And so far, none have been able to regain them. Uh, what do you mean by stolen? Are you saying that their special abilities are transferred to Enigma? Exactly. The Phantom Control Agency has begun an investigation. I urge you to exercise the utmost caution. I want all students commuting in large groups. If anyone should encounter it, do not attempt to engage, just run. Understood? It only attacks people with special abilities. Yeah, that does seem oddly specific. Did she say Enigma? You know, like the Pooh Bear? Enigma, it doesn't mean bear. It's ancient Greek for riddle. And it's the name of a World War II cryptographic device, as well as a famous piece by composer Edward Elgar. I'm wondering why they still can't identify it. If Alyoshki or the Phantom Control Agency don't have any info, then something's definitely not right. I guess summer training camp isn't happening anymore. Really? That's what's upsetting you? <laughs> what's that? Harahiko, Koito, come with me. Reina, you stay here with Kurumi and watch her. No problem, got it. Please be careful, you guys! Don't get hurt! Come on, wake up! Snap out of it, we need you! What have you done to her? Nothing to say? Damn you! Angels were taken to the hospital, an Alayashki affiliated medical facility. Their injuries were minor, but their special abilities never came back. Alayashki was the entity responsible for the change in human neural function to begin with. They're the best there is in the Phantom and Special Ability research fields. All we could do is wait and trust their expertise. I hope the Beach Angels get better soon. Their stolen abilities haven't come back. That might mean Enigma could still be out there somewhere. Well, that is a possibility. And we don't even know if we sealed it or not. If it comes back, we'll just beat it again! Yeah, what she said! But Enigma never reappeared. And before we knew it, summer break had begun. Haruhiko, are you still messing with that gadget? I think I'm finally close to fixing it. I'm so freaking bored! Let's go hang out with the gang at school! Would you shut up? Can't you go bug Mai or someone else for once? You suck, Haruhiko! Oh man, why does she always insist on annoying me? Ichijo residence. 
Hello? Hi, Rico. <gasps> Is that you? Uh, Mom? So, you haven't been in touch with Dad at all? I suppose he's still very busy. Are you on your summer break yet? You're in high school now, right? What school are you in? Why, Mom? Why do you care now? I never stopped caring. I worried and thought about you constantly. What about your husband? Oh, we've been separated for quite some time. Honestly. I wanted to contact you ages ago, but I didn't think you would forgive me, so I couldn't muster up the courage. How do he go? Thank you for agreeing to meet me here. I know your life is busy. I won't ever bother you again. You're going to go very far, son. Goodbye now. Mom, wait! And so? The mother who'd once abandoned me was suddenly in my life again. Haruhiko, time to wake up. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mom. Breakfast is ready for you, so rise and shine. Let me sleep a little longer. Oh, come now, I need your favorite, natto tempura. And it's getting cold, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm getting up. What do I do with him? What about you, Ruru? You ready to eat? Uh, yeah, sure. Just like that, a week went by. Sorry, but I gotta ask. Don't you think it's weird? What's weird? She shows up out of nowhere, and now she lives here. It just seems too good to be true. Are you sure this lady is your mom? What are you saying? That it might be a phantom playing tricks on me? No way. She knows too much about my childhood. And physically, she looks totally human. <sighs> Haruhiko, would you like to come grocery shopping with me? Okay! I'll be right there! <sighs> Take this! <laughs> It's my turn. Sunflower seeds are edible. <gasps> We've got you cornered. Give it up already. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. All the sunflowers in this field are mine. I'm not going anywhere. You give up. The sunflowers here belong to the landowner, Petal Face. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. You guys, I figured out what his weakness is. Sun He's a sunflower. He can only face the sun. Sun famine! Good work. All units, move out. <laughs> Damn you cowards, I'll get you for- No, shut up! What the hell is Haruhiko even doing? He hasn't been around for an entire week. Oh, he's been spending a lot more time with his mom lately. In fact, they went shopping together today. He's been waiting for her to come home for a long time. So I can understand that. He deserves it. Yeah, but that still doesn't give him the right to blow us off or neglect our work. You know, I hadn't even realized that you'd officially joined our team. I guess you're not very observant. Hey, Dudu, you've met his mother. What is she like? Uh, well, she's... Oh, kind of like that lady. Wait, that's Haruhiko. Let me carry some. They must be heavy. Don't worry about it. Where to next? <sighs> that's his mother? Wow, she's so pretty. And she looks kind, too. Something wrong, Koito? It might just be me, but... Huh? It was faint, but I felt a strange aura. So she's a phantom? I don't know. It's an aura I'm not familiar with yet. Huh? What does that mean? We have to wait it out. See what happens later. Then what do we do now? First, we should probably contact Miss Himeno. Then, we go in and find out for sure! Be right there! My, this is a nice surprise! What a treat to have so many guests at once! Come in, please, make yourselves at home! Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us! I'm glad I thought to buy so much food today. What perfect timing you had. 
So you must be my Kawakami. Thanks for taking care of Haruhiko. Uh, not at all. Likewise, ma'am. You're Reina Izumi, right? I like a girl with a big appetite. Eat to your heart's content. Thank you so very much. It's delicious. And you're Koito Minase. Here. I heard you're fond of sweets, so help yourself. Uh, I am. Thank you. Young Kurumi Kumamakura. Your Albrecht is just adorable. <gasps> well, thank you. That's very nice of you. I'm sorry. Everyone, please go ahead and eat. Well, Fiora, I still can't figure it out. It isn't anything like the family phantom I met before either. I'm thrilled Haruhiko has so many girlfriends. I guess that's my son for you. Mom, stop it. That's a little inappropriate. I think it's great that you get the chance to live with your mom again. Congrats. Yeah, we couldn't be happier for you. Oh, thanks, guys. I still haven't quite gotten used to it, though. So, is it possible you have a crush on one of these cute girls? <laughs> Mom, come on! How could you? Oh, settle down. After all, one of them might be fortunate enough to become my daughter-in-law someday. So I'd like to start getting to know them better. Please stop it! All of you are close with my son in one way or another, aren't you? <laughs> well, he did kind of live at my house and keep me company for about a week recently. When I was having some problems with my parents and was feeling really lonely, he said that we were a family and that I belonged. He's, uh, he's always been pretty cool to me since we met. He's so nice. Haruhiko always cheers me up and helps me be brave when I'm scared. I'm ready to welcome you girls with open arms. You all have my blessing to marry my son whenever you like. <laughs> Knock it off, will you? I'm too young to get married! Uh, What's with this weird vibe? She's totally controlling the room. That's my phone. Excuse me. <sighs> she is a little odd, but she's a nice mom. Hello? Good, you answered. Listen to me closely. I just found out that Haruhiko's mother has been reported missing. <sighs> the report was filed by her current husband. Apparently, she had been behaving strangely and then disappeared about a week or so ago. Wait, she disappeared? I've also been trying to reach Haruhiko, but he hasn't answered any of my calls. How oh, could... I don't understand. <laughs> Does Enigma really have that much power? So then... That means... That woman's not his mom. <laughs> <laughs> then it's true. You're Enigma. What happened? Haruhiko! I'm sorry, but this woman isn't your mother! She's Enigma! <gasps> I just got off the phone with Miss Himeno. She said that Enigma is also capable of taking over the human mind. No way. Mom. I was hoping to take this charade as far as I could. But I guess this is it. So you have been taking over people's bodies. I knew there was something shady about you from the beginning. Haruhiko, your abilities are some of the most interesting I've seen. You can summon phantoms on command. You can access people's minds and even their memories. But your execution is feeble. They'd be so powerful... How did he go if run? you only knew how to apply them. And that's exactly why... I'm taking them from you! <laughs> Koito! Mom, stop! Let go of me! <laughs> are wasted on a simple human. I'll put them to a much better use. Haruhiko! What happened? Haruhiko! They're unconscious! Get them to the hospital! Nudu! Oh no! Come on! Can you hear me? Wait! 